Okay. Right. Sorry about the late start. Um, let me turn this down slightly while I'm talking. Um, hi, how's everybody doing today? Oh, actually, let me just make sure everything's running all right on my stream's end. Because it's just, it's just been, I just, like I guess I had a bit of a, an elderly moment. Um, and by that, I mean, my, my PC decided to blue screen all of a sudden. Which is great. It's always good when your PC decides to blue screen, like literally a, a couple minutes before the stream is meant to start. And I was just like... <sighs> <laughs> hey, Dragon Carpenter, hey, Socialist Yorkshire Daddy, how are you guys doing? <laughs> I was all set up, ready to go, fully fired up, and... PC was just like, no. No. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make things difficult for you. Ah. Uh, but we're up now. We're ready. It's ready. I've got everything set up. Um, and we're playing Toonstruck today. We're starting a new playthrough uh, as part of the Thursday Adventure Thursday thing. Um, which is really exciting. I've not played Toonstruck before. I don't know anything about this game other than the fact that Christopher Lloyd's in it. Yes, Christopher Lloyd, a.k.a. Doc Brown from Back to the Future. And Judge Doom in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Um... As a matter of fact, this game has quite a few similarities with Who Framed Roger Rabbit. It's like, because you, you have FMV live-action Christopher Lloyd with cartoon characters in the same world. I have no idea how they're going to play this because I don't know the game, but I'm very excited to play it. Um, and honestly, I, I'm, I think we should just get on with it. Um... Actually, before I do start, I just want to bring up that I will be streaming tomorrow as well. Um, as part of the Pizza Party Discord community event. If you have aren't a, a, a member of my Discord yet, um, yep, then please do join. Um, we'll be playing Unfortunate Spacemen tomorrow at 6.30 uh, PM like BST, which is an hour earlier than now. So if you're thinking an hour earlier than now, is when I'll be streaming tomorrow. And we'll, unfortunately, Spaceman is like Among Us, but with guns, and it's spooky. So, uh, perfect for October. So that'll be that'll be with you guys, and I'll be streaming that. I just wanted to get that out of the way. I'll probably bring that up at the end of the stream as well. But, with all that said, I, let's just get into uh, Toonstruck. Um, I think I've got a slightly different setup today, because, uh, I don't know, I just if I do like a 4x3 setup, it just looks better like this. So, I'm, I'm, that's how I'm, I'm, how I'm doing it. Um, let me just turn this back up as well. Not up too much, but there we go. I can mess with it. And, uh, we'll just play the intro, I guess. Let's get it going. Let's, let's see about what, what's happening with Christopher Lloyd. I do love some FMV. Yes. This is Dr. Stern's His name office. Is I'm calling to remind you about your dental appointment tomorrow uh, morning. Okay. I can... Mr. Blank. Yes. You've missed your last three appointments, Mr. Blank. Uh, yes, I know. I, I mean, I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I must have forgotten. It's this is... only a filling, Mr. Blank. So you'll be here tomorrow, 10 a.m. sharp. <sighs> I promise. I, I'll be so there. It'll make up for all my missed I gave you actually heard it before. <laughs> I don't care what you do, Mr. Blank, as long as you don't. Surprising that you've heard of this one in particular. It's a bit more of an obscure one, actually. Yes, 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 I, I remember, I remember. All right, Drew, I'm sorry. But if you remember, then why aren't you... Oh, whoops. Oh, I'm sorry, Maxine. I, I, I thought you were... Oh, uh, why aren't I what? Your meeting with Schmaltz, it started ten minutes ago. Oh, no. Have you ever heard of this? I'm so dead. <laughs> In my day, being late for a meeting with one's superiors was grounds for immediate dismissal. See that it doesn't happen again. Yes, sir. He's a well-known actor as well, isn't he? I don't can't place his yeah, name right now. I'm sure you're aware that this season marks the tenth anniversary of the fluffy, fluffy bun bun show. Frankly, the fluffy, we've fluffy this bun formula bun show. long enough. Bun bun needs a boost. It needs revitalizing. It needs a shot. Why is that arm. bunny so fake? 
a shot of the arm, yes, sir. And the painting sure behind him. And since Bun Why is it like your that? Creation, I want you to personally administer this revitalizing shot. Thank you, sir. Here's how I see it. We create a big batch of happy, cute bunnies to share the spotlight with Bun Bun. It's an all new show. Ben Stein. Ah, yeah, that's it. and friends. After all, if one bun can carry a company like Sam Schmaltzing for 10 years, a whole truckload of things has got to be a gold mine. 24 carat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, terrific idea. <laughs> that is exactly what the show needs. Uh, more bodies. Of course it's a terrific idea. That's why I get paid the big bucks. Well, what are you waiting for? Go make. Okay, then. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, yes, sir. I want the new characters on my desk first thing tomorrow morning. Damn. This time, don't be late. Tomorrow morning. First thing, yes. Oh, that Star Wars one. Okay. <laughs> rabbits. More sweet, friendly rabbits. Rabbits that do nice things. Rabbits that don't really care. Shit. I like they're just letting Christopher Lloyd be feral. That's great. <laughs> I love that video rendering. Yeah. This is running in like 640 by 480, so. I think he's having fun. Exactly. <laughs> Character you create called uh, Flux Widely. Like, actually called must Flux. Focus on bunnies. That has to be a reference. Must focus on bunnies. Is that Van Gogh in the background? <sighs> oh god. Getting sucked into the world. <laughs> That's very distressing. Thank you for the follow, uh, Jackie Allen. Seems awfully cliche. Yeah, it's this must be. adventure games like this. Oh my god. Music is very familiar. Yeah, it takes off. Music that's used in quite a few cartoons. If it means that much to you. I mean, the cutscenes are really high quality so far. Do you know how to get me home? Hell no! I have problems finding my own way home. But I do know a guy who might be able to help. So you see, King Hugh, your wonderfulness, Drew needs to get back home. Can you help him, can you, huh? Oh, dear, dear, dear. I'm so sorry for all the trouble you've been through. Uh, of course I'll help you find your way home. Told you. Thank you, your majesty. But uh, there's just one teensy-weensy little problem. Uh, let me explain. 
We are here. Qtopia. Are there subtitles? Hey, I don't know. I'll have to check. I live. That's where I live, right there. Zany do. It's kind of like an offshore asylum, but to me, it's always. I'll check after the cutscene's done. <laughs> Back to you, you benevolence. Yes. As I was saying, we are here in Qtopia, home of the happy, helpful Qtopians. And, okay. of course, they're good and just king. It's hmm. I don't trust them. We were all so very, very happy. Animations are really nice. So, under attack by a very wicked man, Count Nefarious. I wonder if he's evil. <laughs> Would you like to look at him? Uh -oh. Who would? Nefarious is ruler of the Malevolands and its dismal denizens. He has perfected a Malevolator. Hey, that's the thing that took a shot at me! It's a terrible flying weapon of Nefarious's own invention. The Malevolator shoots a powerful ray mm. that corrupts everything it touches, turning all that is sweet and pleasant into all that is sinister. Oh. Ugly. So, I'm afraid, Mr. Drew, we really need you to help us before we can help you. But how could I possibly help? My brave <laughs> spies have stolen the blueprints for Nefarious's bad, bad machine. My royal engineer is using these plans to build a cutifier. Oh. A device which will reverse the damage Nefarious has done. Mr. Drew, please. I need you to help us finish the cutifier so that we can end Nefarious's reign of terror and make the world a happy place. And then, I promise you, I will do everything in my power to help you get home. Don't worry, your benevolence. We'll save you. Won't we? Mr. Drew? Sure, your <laughs> highness. I, 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 I'd be happy to help. Absolutely splendid. Thank you, friend. You can't possibly understand what this means to me and my kingdom. N before you leave the castle, please stop by my laboratory so my engineer can show you the cutifier. And okay. remember, all of Qtopia is counting on you. Well then. Let me just check if there's, I can get the subtitles in anywhere then. Flux is voiced by Dan Castellanata. Oh! Glad to hear it, Mercury. Um, what can you see? Option screen, F1, okay. Uh, uh, maybe if I start a new game, I can just skip the intro. I want. There we go. There we go. Um, text. I think text is already on. Oh, okay. All right, I guess we're good. We're in it. We're in the. Hey, King Boss, how you doing? I guess we're in it now. Um, God, look at these. Like proportion. That's neat. Oh my God. You can actually grab flux. Oh, and use them like you would use mats in the like Sam at the road. That's neat. Okay. Footman. <laughs> He's a little foot, of course. Excuse me. Could we have a word with you? Certainly. Which word would you like? May I recommend? Goodbye. Ouch. Um. He who sure has a lot of trophies. Well done, sir. A keen observation. However, if I may be blunt, I find dusting a trifle difficult whilst engaged in such witty and insightful conversation. I so if it's see. all the same to you, I suggest you gentlemen be on your way. Hey, wait a second. What kind of a butler are you anyway? For your information, no kind of butler at all. Are you blind, sir? Flux, look at him. I think he's a footman. <laughs> what? Are you telling me uh. a butler would be a great big... Hi. <laughs> oh. Um... This must be a tough time for King Hugh. Nefarious on the loose. Qtopians getting struck down left and right. Dust collecting on his trophies. Oh, indeed. 
It's just terrible to see his Feet. royal highness so unhappy. Every <laughs> night, I wind his precious royal music box. It begins to play its sweet little lullaby. And only then can my poor king sleep. Sweet dreams to your royal stukums, I softly whisper. As oh. I tuck his highness in. <clears throat> Footman's duties. You yes. wouldn't understand. Yeah, of course. Um, all right. Time for us to shove off. Then please, by all means, shove off, sir. Can I take this? <laughs> oh, God. Please don't touch the trophies, gentlemen. Okay. I've just spent the last <laughs> week dusting them. I'm sure I'll need to grab that at some point. Is there like an inventory system then, or... Hold on. Right click. Nope. Huh. I wonder how that works then. God, is it... The animation on, uh... On Christopher Lloyd is really smooth, actually. It's neat. I can't just yank it open. Hmm. Let's put Flux Valley in the hole. <laughs> Flux, do you think you could get that cupboard open? It does look really cool, like... Nope. Oh. But on a positive note, I'm a pretty good dancer. Nah. Yep, that uh, that helps. Thanks. I think we need to be here anyway. Oh. Hello. Hello. We're looking for the royal engineer. Really? I'm looking for my glasses. Oh. Well, okay. You see the engineer? Would you tell him we're looking for him? I will. But he's rather preoccupied right now. He's lost his glasses. Oh. Now, where can they be? Right. Do I have to find this guy's glasses then? All right. It's a trash can. So's the floor, apparently. <laughs> Another of the engineer's useful inventions, no doubt. Hmm. I wonder if I could do a video on, like, Adventure Game Companions. Like, Flux here is like a companion, and um, obviously Max is. What other, what other adventure game companions are there? Sophia Hapgood in Last. Uh, not. Pair of Atlantis. Uh, and then there's. Can you think of the other ones? Cedric. Cedric. That's another one. Seems to be quite a prevalent thing, having like a. An Ingram Fable. Are we talking Fable the Adventure Game? Because I don't think I've played that. Uh, excuse me. I don't mean to be Harvey rude. And... But oh I'm yeah. I don't have time I've been meaning to play the um, Edna and Harvey games for a while. Is a tippy top priority. Okay. Another of the engineer's useful inventions, no doubt. Yeah, let's see if we can find those glasses for you then, bud. I wonder what's through that doorway on the right. Let's go That's through. the tippy top secret area. Please stay out. <laughs> All right. I wonder where he left his glasses. I don't know if there's any anything in here. Hmm. You know, Almost Flux. I have this weird, nagging feeling that before we leave the palace, there's something we're supposed to do. You mean, like, find out what we're supposed to do? Oh, yeah, that was it. I guess we better talk to the royal engineer. Okay, so we do... Everything will be included in here, I guess. The Edna game is very good. Almost every item combination in that game has a unique voice line. Interesting. I only have the... Door is locked. Okay. Do you think King Hugh wants us to stay out of there? Heck One of your no. favorite adventure games? I've nice. I've a locked door. Is an invitation. I don't think I can go that way. Can I open this cabinet? I don't think I can. There's, like, there's a hole there, so we clearly can put something in. Open. Um. Okay. It's got to be something with the with the trophy room, to be honest. Have I played this before and it's been so long ago? Oh, this is first time. I've not played this at all. I haven't even seen a playthrough of this. That's a big key. Do I need that? It's not like something I can interact with. So yeah, this is, this is, I'm, this is a completely blind playthrough. I know I can get this watering can somehow. Because it's a grabbable item, but... Maybe you can do it. Fox. Snatch that trophy while the footman isn't looking. 
If all my years of experience have taught me one thing, it's not how to steal trophies out from under the watchful eye of a humorless footman. Right, sure, that helped. Oh, did, did you knock him out? <laughs> distract the footman while I do something. No can do, Drew. This guy, you have not done anything for me so far. <laughs> I keep asking him to do things, he's like, nah, I can't do that. Okay. Let's have a look, another look in the laboratory then. So we've got the... Oh! Look at that. What a talented little man. Let's shove him in the, in the device. That's funny. Another of the engineer's useful inventions, no doubt. Hmm. Where are they? I feel like the glass. Try searching the trash can. I've already had a look. It's it, trash. Can. It won't. It won't let me. Or maybe I can. It's not that useless. Oh, oh I, I can't do that. Okay. I can't see a thing. Hmm. Yeah, it won't let me uh, look in the trash can. Is there anywhere else I can look? Hey, glasses, glasses. I feel like the glasses would be somewhere really stupid. It just seems like they're what this is going for. Okay, let's have a look at this hole. There's a hole in the side of the cupboard. Do I actually have any inventory items and is there a way for me to see them? Hold on. I'm looking here. No, I don't think that works. I can't go outside yet. Oh. Hey, get over here. Can you go? Can you get to this door somehow? He's a sidekick, not a lockpick. Yeah. Okay. There's definitely something I'm obvious that I'm missing here. I don't even know what game like reputation this game has, like puzzle-wise. I don't know if it's like hard for whatever reason or pixel hunting or whatever. I know some adventure games can be. Hmm. Am I missing an obvious thing with the glasses at all? It's pretty hard from what you recall. Oh, well, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of me wandering What's around. Through that doorway on the right. That's the tippy top secret area. Okay, I can't... Please stay out. I can't skip dialogue with full stop. This is something you can do on uh, on some scum games. Where are they? I have no idea, dude. So there's, there's several things going on here. Let's, let's try and break it down. There's this watering can trophy. Um, can Flux the bird his glasses? I don't know. You did fair, but what you meant was Torrin's Passage. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know Torrin's Passage. I haven't played it, but I keep meaning to get around to playing it. I, I could know a little bit about it. Oh, hold on. Ahem. I've worn my toes to the bone dusting those. Okay. Please keep your hands off them. So you can... Hold on. Fox, can you snatch that trophy while the footman isn't looking? Oh, okay. If all my years of experience yeah, okay. have taught me one thing, it's not it's the same thing. to steal trophies out from under the watchful eye we could of also, a humorless footman. So we could also interact with this fish trophy. Are there any other dialogue options we can... Come back again. Very good, sir. May I say, sir has an unrivaled mastery of stating the obvious. Thank you. We were just talking to a bird downstairs. He seemed a little flustered. Ah, you've He's had the footman a footman pun? Yeah. <laughs> our royal engineer. Brickabrack seems to be having a bit of a problem. Allow me to go out on a limb, sir. 
Bric-a-brac has lost his glasses. Yes, that's right. Uh, I don't suppose he has checked his pocket. Oh, I didn't ask. Hmm. I, I, I had a feeling well, it'd be I something like that. Of our engineer most fascinating, sir. In future, I would prefer to focus my energies on more important matters, such as the condition of my master's trophies. Okay. Well, well I'd better be going. I have a drawer full of socks to dust. Of course. One must have one's priorities. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Let's go get this glasses situation sorted out. And it took me a moment to realize that, uh, what Flux has on his head are glasses as well. I thought it was like eyes and weird eyebrows, but... Where are they? Brick a brac by any chance, are your glasses in your pocket? Imagine I a bottle in no a cartoon idea. without that accent. I, I know, unheard of, right completely unheard of. What Drew means is, look in your pocket. Oh, okay. My glasses. I wonder who put them there. Ooh. Hey, do I know you? I'm Drew, and he's Flux. We're friends of King Hugh. We've come to help you with a cutifier. Wonderful. Welcome to Team Happy! <laughs> this looks weird, Let and me it show does! How's it going, Tenwin? Gentlemen, this is the blueprint for Nefarious's okay. Malevolator! Now then, you see the 12 things installed inside the ship's deck? The whistles, the dagger, and whatnot. Right. Well, they power Nefarious's Malevolation Beam. We need 12 things to power the beam on our machine. But so far, I've only been able to find one. Well, I guess a scavenger hunt for the missing okay, parts Okay, that seems interesting. We already have the blueprint. At least we know what we need to get. Not that easy. Use the same 12 things, get another malevolent. I was going to say, we have to reverse them. What we need are 12 different things. Things of a different nature. Is this actually a childish game? Uh, I think I think it's a bit more adult, actually, to anyone. You said you had one thing I think there are some very odd scenes in this game. And that's something that I, I, I have heard about. <laughs> the one thing that seems to work is sugar. It works when I put it right there where the spice is in the various I, I had a feeling there'd be sugar instead of spice. Why? I haven't a clue. Well, break a rat. Are we talking That's Jessica Rabbit adults? Possibly a bit more. Better for all of us. <laughs> Wait, you'll be needing the Malevolator blueprint for reference. No. Now where is it got to? Uh, you're still holding it, Wing Commander. Oh. Wing Commander. Oh, that reminds me. I want to give you something that may help. A bottomless bag to carry all Ah, this will be my inventory then. Perfect. Thank you, bric a Splendid. And please, feel free to come back here anytime. We can install different things into the cutifier to see if Who voices this guy? Or we can just talk. Okay. Okay. Thank you, new friends, and good luck. I want to shout with him, actually. Who is this bric-a-brac? The name sounds familiar, but for the life of me, I can't seem to place the face. He's you. Who's who? You are bric-a-brac. Yes, of course I'm bric-a-brac. Uh-oh. Did you two silly forget who I was? Oh, my God. Brown, hairy sign. <laughs> Jesus. So, bric-a-brac... Is there anything else you can tell us about our mission? <laughs> this guy's getting really annoying. I think that's the point. <laughs> I don't mean to frighten you, but there is a remote possibility that Nefarious might find your participation in this project just a tad irritating. You don't say. Oh, oh, that's like calling cyanide unpalatable. Well, maybe so. But since he rarely leaves his castle, he's not likely to be a problem. But King Hugh did ask me to warn you about... These three okay. back, goggles and lug nut. Oh, nefarious is henchman. Bad news. Exactly. Oh, I look interesting. We'll do our best to avoid them. We've got quite a few dialogue options here. Uh, Have you ever heard the term amnesiac used in reference to you? Yes, I believe I have. 
but I'm afraid I don't recall the meaning of the word. Uh, now, what was the question again? Oh, okay. <laughs> a while ago, you showed us a picture of Nefarious's henchman. Did I? Oh, dear. I hope I didn't upset you. Actually, we were wondering if we could see it again. Again? Oh, I didn't well, really want to, right, but okay. If you really want to. I guess they're kind of based they on... Feet, um, goggles and lug nuts. Based now on the three monkeys. Oh, See no boy, evil, hear no time. evil, speak no evil. Oh, and here we were gonna throw him a party. Oh, that really wouldn't be wise. Not wise at all. If I suck, don't well, worry about asking. Nice. I'm gonna try exactly. try and stream more, but I'm, I've just got so many big projects on right now that I'm kind of focusing on those. It's just the main thing. All right. So has King Hugh been asking about us? King who? Hugh. Your boss. Oh, you mean King Hugh? <laughs> He's my boss, you know. Really? He's been asking how you two are doing with the cutifiers. Uh-huh. And what did you tell him? Tell who? Tell Hugh. This about guy. <laughs> working on the cutifier. Oh, no, I don't need to tell him that. He already knows. Yes, but... Oh, never mind. You know what? Let's just... Hi, brick brack Flux and I let's, are gonna go look for parts for the cutifier. Let's go explore instead. You just keep doing whatever it is you do. Okay. And clearly referencing you very much, Rabbit. I mean, they literally got Christopher Lloyd for it, so I mean, there's probably some influence there. Oh, some guards. Hi, guys. I'm Drew Blank, and this is my friend. Flux wildly. We're building a machine that's going to save Qtopia. We are oh, yeah. secretly building a machine that's going to save Qtopia. Oh, jeez. These are the palace guards. You think they don't know what's going on? Building well, a machine? the budget went towards hiring Christopher Lloyd? Utopia. I have no idea. No idea. So, what exactly do you guys do around here? Let's show him, Sparky. Okie dokie, Chipper. Two, three, four. Bippity bip bip bippity ba. Very good. That's our little hello dance. It even has a message. That's right. It means hello. Here's hoping it made your trip to the palace today just a tiny bit brighter. Yeah. Uh, thanks, guys. You don't have to thank us. Your is that... smile is payment enough. I feel like those two guards are voiced by uh, Simpsons voice actors. The, the one on the the left, especially, sounds like sounds like Nelson to me. What are their names? They're just guards, as far as I know. Your dance routine is very interesting. It certainly left an interesting feeling in the pit of my stomach. Uh oh. Want us to kiss it and make it better? No! Oh! I think what he means is just the fact that you guys care is already making him feel better. Hip hip! Hooray! I know Dan Castellanata is, um, Flux. You guys must be in constant contact with King Hugh, right? Yes, Both voiced indeed, by Tress McNeil. Yes, sir. I, I was gonna say Tress McNeil, actually. I, 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 I was thinking that name was popping into my head, but I wasn't sure. Helping you gives us yum yum. Feelings all over. Right. Well, thing is, I've only met the king Frank Welker, once, nice. briefly. He was very kind to me, but I really like to know a little more about him. He Tim Curry is in it. Oh my God, what nice. Do you two tell me about his <laughs> royal smiliness. And Jim Cummings. Well, wow. He's our king, and his name is Hugh. Hip hip, hooray! That's it. That's it. Sure, you don't need a pen and paper to write all that down. All right. Yeah, I think we're go. done. You guys are leaving already. We're gonna and miss Rob you. And Rob Paulson, you know. of course. You won't forget us, will you? We'll certainly try. Yeah. <laughs> Can I take with the? Uh... Oh, that's a pretty decent inventory. Okay. Oh. Oh my God! The music. <laughs> oh, I'm already having a blast. <laughs> Let's go into the, the cake shop first, then. Hi, guys. Some sort of machine. Mm hmm The 
Excuse me, do you? Couple of frogs. Look, brother. I think we've got some new faces here in the bakery. I'll say. <clears throat> Welcome, fellows. I'm Drew Blank, and this is Flux Wildly. Pleased to meet you, fellas. We are the, the Baker, Baker Boys. Boys. <laughs> oh. Me. So, I'm walking down a street, and an old man comes up to me and asks directions to the fish market. The fish market, I You're say. You doing a stand-up routine? Don't ask me. I thought you brought the strudel. <laughs> Wait a minute. That didn't make any sense. It didn't? No. He's right. All right. It's just not the same now that it's just me and me. Just you and you? No. Me. That's me. Hold it right there. He's dough. I'm me. We also have a middle brother named I was going to say, Ray. where's Rhett? We did. Oh, God. Our poor departed brother Ray was the one who sang the middle note, told the middle of the jokes, and ran the middle bakery. Departed? Did Ray croak? Oh. He departed. <laughs> God. One day he went out and he never came back. And ever since, it's been a tough go for me. I guess we can and find me. Ray at some point then. So, you guys are bakers? That's right. Me here runs the day old bakery. And I run the day young bakery. Day young okay. bakery? Okay. Selling bread that isn't finished yet. You know. Mm. Lumps of dough. Of course. How silly of you, Drew. God, of course. And Ray, he, he used to run the regular bakery. <laughs> I was perfect, yeah. After I made my dough, Ray would cook it into nice rolls and sell those in his shop. The day after, Ray would pass the leftover rolls on to me, and I'd sell them at my place. But now that our dear brother is gone... <laughs> Those dough is left uncooked. And me shelves are bare. I think that's the saddest story I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> the talk point is actually you breaking the ice. Oh, God, of course it is. <laughs> this is so good. Where do you think Ray went? Oh. He went Shanghai. Shanghai? Did you say Shanghai? Ray was Shanghai? Whoa! I mean, whoa! You're really annoyed by it? Ah, it's just stupid Kidnapping? stuff. Just, <laughs> oh, bingo, yeah. I love this kind of thing. It may have been nefarious, horrible henchmen. Why would they do that? We think maybe it was a case of mistaken identity. So oh. you're saying you think they meant to kidnap some other? Shanghai is not a term that has aged well. Up? Yeah, probably not. I don't really know the sort of origins of it, to be honest. I mean, I know obviously it's named after Shanghai, but I don't know why that's actually the word that is used. Well, despite all your troubles, at least you have your dough, right? Wrong. Right after Ray disappeared, things went from bad to Because you were sent to Shanghai. Bad. I don't know. You see, Qtopia ran out of butter, and without <clears> butter, <throat> dough can't make dough. Well, what if you just leave out the butter? Leave out the butter? <laughs> no butter, no dough. Take it from me. You mean him, right? Well, sure. Who else? <laughs> Jesus. Well, I guess we better be going. Take care. Don't talk to strangers. <laughs> Always take a sweater. Don't forget to write. Okay. You guys uh, enjoy your day. And so, look, this is uh, a costume shop. Costume shop. Hmm. Hello. You have an interesting us. design. Excuse us. I was actually... Excuse us. Okay, like you're excused. Okay. Oh my God! Like, where is my head today? I'm Miss Fit. Welcome of to course the costume rama Let's break the ice. Good book. Not even. I am like a total agnostic. No, no, no. I meant you <laughs> like your book. <laughs> like. Well, yeah. The puns. I mean, there's no such thing as a bad book, you know. I mean, there's like nothing more noble than the written word. What a crazy coincidence. Why, I was just saying that to Drew here. 
books are the best. They're the tops. Good old books. Oh, the, uh, all those the Bible is sometimes everything. referred to as the good Woo! book, Tenwin. Can't get enough of them. Give it up, Flux. Whatever and uh, she responded by going, I'm agnostic. I'm sure, I don't know what you're talking <laughs> it's about. It's so bad. <laughs> so, Ms. Finn, how about you and I get together? They know it's the costume around the room. Yeah, it's it, Elmer Fudd and uh, Mark like and the Martian. Yeah, the I did see that. Sounds rad. It's like totally cool that you're so into reading. You wouldn't believe the amount of jerks that try picking me up, pretending they like books. Thing is, I only have to talk to them for about five minutes before I see right through them. I usually get so totally irked that I end up walloping okay, them Keep in mind the book thing. I will. I'm like a total black belt. Heck, really? Oh no, you know what? I'm afraid I'm gonna have to take a rain check on our little reading rendezvous. You see, Drew here needs my help. And I can't just up and desert him like that. Yeah, of course. Ain't that right, buddy? That's right, buddy. Bummer. Okay. I think there's, I think there's more to break. So, if you love books, why do you want a costume? Costuma. Costumarama? Well, like I love That's the word, costumes, apparently. Too. I mean, what could be more totally profound than to, like, transcend your physical appearance? <laughs> Plus, reading and costuming are really cool together, you know? I mean, a lot of my costumes are based on something I've read. Like the Emperor's New Clothes. <laughs> like the one I made after I read Camus. Oh, it was Camus. based on the unreasonable silence of the universe. Have a bit of Camus. That I'd like to see. Bit of absurdism. Oh. Sorry, nice. it's like out on consignment. Bummer. I uh, really uh, dig your <laughs> costumes. Thanks. Business has been like totally great lately. I just finished up my Rentorama promotion and I gave out Mongo vouchers. Mongo vouchers? For a free rental. That's very oh, okay. generous of you. No way. It's like marketing. I see. So what's that you're reading? It's called Enigma. It's a book of insoluble puzzles. Insoluble puzzles? Insoluble? Hey, what a blast. Say, why didn't they just make the book illegible while they were at it? Hey, like, I'm open-minded, okay? I'll read anything. Well, I'm, we'll so, keep that in mind, then. Yeah, quick. Before you start talking like that all the time. Three, watch out! A poisonous snake! <laughs> Thank you, Bugsnitter, for the hundred bits. And the poisonous snake. You miss Joey. Well, Joey's Joey, you know. Look at all the cool get-ups. Yeah, there's a veritable lot of them. Is the open minor joke? I'm not sure. I don't think it was. Look at all the cool oh, get-ups. No different. No comments. Okay. No different comments for each costume. Well, I'm just exploring right now. Anyway, this is a pub, like an Irish pub, because it's got like the whole green uh, clover. Motif. Utopia's Tavern, the only bar I know where happy hour lasts all day. Okay. Let's have a look then. Typical. In Utopia, even an Irish pub is about as rowdy as a tea room. I don't know, Flux. The the I mean, barman is a, is there. literally a a, a, a. Away with you. That is a cheese, man. Well, looks like the place is a little livelier than you thought, buddy. Cool. Nice music. Hi there. Hello and welcome. So glad you could make it to me. I, I knew he'd have an, an Irish accent like that. Wait. Magic weather, isn't it? Uh. Yes. Is he simultaneously Nothing Irish and Scottish? Answer. Aye. Nothing short of pure dead brilliant, by the oh, way. Okay. Um, yeah, he is. Thanks. Why? And I couldn't be better myself. He switches between Irish and Scottish Scott accents. Sure. That is an interesting choice. I not help but notice that your accent is, uh, well... First it's Irish, then it's Scottish, then it's Irish, then it's Scottish, yeah. then Irish, then Scottish, Irish, Scottish. I think he gets the point. It's actually Rob Paulson. Ah, yes, thank you for knowing. I can hear Rob Paulson there, actually. Yeah. Can't tell the difference. It's my ancestry, you see. I'm half Irish and half Scottish. That's not. Oh, <laughs> cheese. Hey, that's right. I suppose you could say I'm a bit of a hunk. A hunk of cheese. Woohoo! But not a very sharp one, apparently. Well, you certainly seem to have the luck of the Irish. 
It's quite a popular little pub we run here. Oh, I'm sure it has everything to do with the tavern's tasteful decor. Yes, the shamrock motif is very original. <laughs> oh, that's very kind of you to say so, Cyrus. Very kind. Although... I do have one itsy little problem. Oh? What's eating you? Bloody? Well, that's just it, you see. There's a moose loose about this house. <laughs> huh? Right here. In the tavern, there's a moose. You're being harassed by a very large antlered deer. Dinner be silly. You know what I mean. There's a wee slick at Cowrin Timmer's beastie. <laughs> there's a mouse for crying out loud. Oh, oh a, a mouse. mouse. Hey, <laughs> a moose. <laughs> Tell me, what possible problem could a little mouse pose oh. to such a big hunter? Look, the Irish sounds like a really cruel joke oh, given oh, Irish oh, history. Oh, I begin yeah. To understand. No, but then again, I'm not sure the, that you do. the thing about Irish history is it's mostly the British's fault. <laughs> but that's all right with me. I wouldn't want the poor wee thing to starve after all. So then, if you don't mind him chewing chunks out of you, what's the problem? Well, you see, in addition to having a healthy appetite, um, this mouse is a bit um, high-spirited. Is that I mean, the word? He's an absolute bomb pot if you catch me drift. Oh. No, but we do <laughs> if you catch my drift. And... Though I'm sure he doesn't mean us any harm, his shenanigans are driving me customers absolutely crazy. Oh, I've tried everything, but I just cannot save to make him go away. So what's a little irritation? You sure you're not making a mountain out of a mouse hole? No, I'm not. I'm not me which end, I tell you. <laughs> I'm even offering a reward to the person that catches the wee time. Oh, he's giving away a reward? This guy's got to be desperate. I mean, he is half Scottish after all. Hey. <laughs> That's an interesting organ you have there. Oh, my kilt's riding up again. No! No, no, no. I, I mean, the <laughs> piano type organ thingy. Oh, yes. No! <laughs> She's a Hamlet. I was hoping that joke wasn't going to happen, and it did. Recently, she used to get a lot of use. Wait, the Baker boys performed in here almost every day. Until the offy business with the brothers disappearance. <laughs> Oh boy. So how long has this mouse been around anyway? You know, that's funny. He showed up the very same day I got back from my vacation. Your vacation? I went to Zanidu. Oh, what a terrible mistake. Hey, watch it, buddy. That's my hometown, you know. And a lovely place it is. But, unless it's only my opinion. Like what does the cheese don't look like? I don't want to know. Why, every time I'd so much as set foot outside, wham! Someone will come up behind me and pull my kilt down or drop an anvil on my scone. <laughs> hey, oh, that's no. just terrible. Oh, God. I see you've set a trap for your little visitor. Oh, dear. <clears throat> that horrible Jeez, oh, thing. God. <laughs> I really hoped I wouldn't have to use it, mind you. It's just that, well, I've asked our tiny friend nicely to leave ever so many times, and it hasn't worked at all. I thought he'd see that ugly trap and simply get scared away. Yeah, right. It looks like he's quaking with fear already. I suppose what I really need is someone with pest control experience to come and catch the daft wee bugger for me. Um, by the way, did I mention that there's a lovely reward for the fellow that does? Yeah, yeah that might have come up. All right. Hey, wait a minute. Do we leave that haggis in the oven? Uh, oh yeah. We best skedaddle. Well, it was a pleasure meeting the two of you. Come back anytime you fancy. <laughs> is this allowed? This allowed. All right, let's see if we can grab this mouse then. I assume it won't be that easy. Yeah. Can't seem to catch him. Looks like a cheerful crowd. This is Qtopia. What did you expect? Looks like a cheerful crowd. Okay. So you can. It's just too fast. Hmm. Okay, so he zips between those three areas. I'm going to assume that there'll be items you can get that you can put in the different areas to uh, catch him. But I don't think that'll happen right now. The little creep took off. Right, there'll be something you can put here or something. Um, or on here that makes him sticky and... You can use the organ? Oh, okay, let's do that. I can catch the mouse. Wait, 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 wait. I can catch the mouse. Maybe I'll give the barman catch the mouse now? Try. I'm sure he'll enjoy Hold on, that. let me, uh... Oh! The 
Let's go give that mousetrap a whack, would you? Check. Oh, I see. I know, I, I see what's going on here. You have to get the mouse to there. Alright. Just too fast. Chase the mouse to here. And then, oh wait, no. Can't see the catch him. And then play the organ. Ready for another musical interlude? Play it again, Blank. And then hey, hey! No! Got God damn it, Flux! Hold on. That was magic, by the way. Ready for another music? Here we go again. <laughs> I accidentally clicked on the door because Flux moved out the way. Right, come on, buddy. Right, here we go. Flux, go give that here we go. Whack, would you? Check. Here we go. I got this. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> got him. Take that, you Wesley Woden. My God! What's the reward? You use the trap. I never meant for our wee pal to get pop. Oh, don't worry. Needs must. As soon as we bend his skull back into shape, I'm sure he'll be just fine. Yeah. I suppose you're right. Perhaps that is for the best. Thank you, friends, for making me tavern a peaceful, happy place again. Oh, and without further ado, most is a nice one. Yes, I would assume so. Oh. oh, mud. That's our reward. I know, I know. It's maybe too much, isn't it? But please, take it, I insist. The both of you have earned it, so you have. Fox, what are we gonna do with this piece of junk? I got a few ideas. Alright, put it in the bag for now. I'm gonna take the mouse as well. Now it's mine. Alright. Get the book of this. How do I. Is there a way I can just look at this? Oh, there we go. So, I wonder if there's anything we can have that would be would fit into here right now. I don't know if Mug would fit in any of that, but Mug might be useful for something. Either way, I think we've done pretty well there. And in the last place yes, is... The arcade. Ooh, arcade then. Let's have a look. Oh my god, the music. Good day, kind sir. My name is Drew Blank, and this is Flux Wildly. Pleased to meet you. So, uh, is this an arcade? No, it's a flower shop. Only we're fresh out of flowers. Of course it's an arcade, you meathead! <laughs> <laughs> Drew, did you hear that? You just got stopped on by a cucumber! By a stab. <laughs> Got him good. Fine. I can't think of anything more humiliating. <laughs> Wait until everybody hears about this. You'll never live it down. <laughs> <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, my friend Flux Wild. You know, I thought Utopians were supposed to be happy and helpful, caring and sharing. You see, surprisingly. Obnoxious. Okay, okay, so you found me out. I'm not from around here. Yeah, hey, I remember you. You used to have a place like this in Zany Do. How come you left the home? Dumb Deloise, I don't know. Yeah, the business sucked. It's not easy to con a Zany. Everyone's a wise guy. Yeah. So I came over here to swindle, uh, entertain <laughs> these smiley little Kiltopian saps. It ain't glamorous, but it's a living. Ripping off Kiltopians. Why, that's just downright inspired. You need Look, a Look, does Mick go from funny to annoying all the time? I am? Well, theoretically speaking. No! <laughs> it is Dom DeLuise. If you ask me, conning the ultra gullible doesn't sound like a particularly rewarding career. Where's the challenge? Where's the joy? Now, in my line of work, uh, but enough about me. This is about your career. <laughs> you, are you nuts? Old Fishface here is a genius. He's got it made. Oh yeah, made in the shade. Except for the fact that I gotta live here in Utopia, which means I gotta kiss sweet little furry Utopian butt. Well, hello, friend. Aren't the flowers lovely this time of year? Happy day, happy day. 
Man, a little piece of me dies every time I gotta say crap like that. <laughs> that game in the middle isn't very popular. Whackman? Hey, that's because it's from Zany Doom. My furry little patrons prefer goody goody utopian games like Sweet Fighter. Sweet, Sweet Fighter. Fighter. You hurl compliments. Vegas. That's the most popular game. Yeah, that and Mortal Wombat. Oh. Well, don't. Now, what? Mortal Wombat. There's a game. And with all the time I got on my tentacles, let's just say I've gotten pretty damn good at it. In fact, Jim Cummings is the way to talk. Ah. Melina's coming Anyone? to MK11. I did see that, yeah. I'll give them one of the That's cool to see. Prizes. This and Ren. And Rambo. Chains. I don't know why they went with Rambo, but hey, why not? Practically gold. Hey, that's <clears> almost <throat> valuable. Well, I have no idea how to play Whackman, but I'm not one to shy away from a challenge. And a lot of humiliation. So, are you up for a game? Sure, chump. You beat me, I'll give you the gold chain. Okay. Let's... Oh, okay. What is this? Am I am I controlling this? What the hell? Oh. oh I see. Oh god, okay. Uh Oh my god. Okay. I, I, okay, okay, uh, uh, you can win this. I don't think I'm going to, though. He has too many arms. Yep, yeah. ooh. You can't let him hit you or the target behind you. Yeah. I mean, I kind of figure that, but, all right. You up for a game of whack, man? Sure, chump. You beat me, I'll give you the gold chain. Hmm. Okay. Is there a way, like... Oh, oh god, I can pick up. Uh, uh, okay. Well, how do you... What song is this? I don't know. Do a Hadouken. Oh! Oh no! Ah, damn it! Okay, this is hard. <laughs> uh. Oh god! Uh. Damn it! Ah! Damn it. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's finicky. Heal the champ. I might have to come back to that one. A video game addict. I don't get the attraction. I mean, simulated violence? What's the point? I'd better speak to the cashier first. Who knows what the house rules are around here. Let's try the strength thing then. We're back. Oh, goody. I think I know how that strengthometer thing works. You try to ring the bell, right? Yep, that's all you gotta do to win one of the arcade's top prizes. This okay. bottle of fine Chablis. Right. I even got a lucky Can't do that right, right now. here okay. waiting for you. Ah, uh, sure, buddy. Whatever you say. <laughs> um, that's a little hammer. <laughs> well then. Good effort, Drew. Even though you failed, I admire you for giving it your best shot. I don't know him. I've never seen him before <laughs> in my life. All right. I'm not sure I fully get the the way Whackman is played right now, but 
<clears throat> Let's see if there's anything else to explore, and I can come back to this. Oh. It's Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun in a big hurry. Maybe she's late for a very important date. Aw. Hello. Fluffy Fluffy Bun Bun, as much as possible. I presume. That's me! <laughs> How are you today, Fluffy? I'm fuzzy and fluffy and cute and cuddly, and I just couldn't be happier. <gasps> Oopsie, I just showed an itty bitty fib. You see, ever since that bad, bad Mr. Nefarious started messing up Utopia with his nasty machine, I've been just an eensy bit cranky. That nasty man is ruining everything! <laughs> just look at my meadow! Nasty, nasty, nasty! It's just not fair! <laughs> oh, golly, listen to me. I'm being a great big grouchy pants. I, I guess be welcoming you. Welcome, welcome. Well, uh, thanks so much. Okay. Oh, no, thank you. I love to make special new friends. Oh boy, is it a beautiful day? All right. I guess Nefarious's attacks have you pretty shaken up. Golly, yes, but it gets much, much worse. You see. Some bunny gave me this cotton candy to cheer me up. Okay. But I prefer popcorn! <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? I'm just a perky, cute little bunny with shiny soft fur. Why me? Why me? Right. Okay. Considering what Nefarious okay, has done this then. Meadow, I guess we should be thankful he didn't hit Boys, us. Boy, that's fantastic, you know, yeah. I think we have my lucky charm to thank for that. Oh? A charm? <laughs> oh, it's just a little rabbit's foot I carry around with me. <laughs> Lux. Don't worry. I know he was just trying to say something nice. No, he really I wasn't. Bunnies are lucky and lovable and good to have around. <laughs> what is Otherwise, it? Yeah. he wouldn't have said anything at all. Yep, that's how it works. <laughs> so, Fluffy, what exactly do you do around here? A anyway? <laughs> punter. <laughs> Why, my job is being the cutest little bunny in the whole wide world. My big bunny ears are cute. My little bunny bottom is cute. Why, even my teeny little poops are cute. Hooray! Oh. Hooray for me! Okay. And I'm sure those teeny little poops smell better than flowers, right? Do they ever? Wanna sniff my sweet fluffy bottom? Hey, guess what? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> so funny. Little line delivery. So bad about cotton candy, anyway. Well, gee, nothing at all, I guess, except that I hate cotton candy. Oh, my poor little tummy! Whoa, whoa, is me! All right then. You know King Hugh. Oh yes, I just love Hughie. He's so good and wise and happy and good looking. Hmm. Good looking? Hmm. Of course, every bunny is good looking in their own special every way. Bunny. Even oh, God. you. <laughs> That's nice. Nice is my specialty. <laughs> Well, Fluffy, I'm afraid we have to go. Yeah, nice meeting you. <laughs> it's always sad to see friends leave. Yep. Oh, well. Oh, I'd like to give the whole world a great big fluffy, fluffy bun bun hug. Wouldn't you? Sure. I guess. But you can't, because you're in a fluffy, fluffy bun bun. <laughs> For which I am eternally grateful. <laughs> Okay, bye. One broken nail away from going on a killing spree. <laughs> I can see that. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can get that whack man thing actually. Is there any? I just need to spam fire. For a game of whack man. Sure, chump. You beat me. I'll give you the gold chain. Right, let's do it. I need to get this to start. I have to press something? Okay, no. Okay, no. 
Yeah. I'm, I'm spamming it. I'm spamming it. I think I'm gonna die first. Ah. Oh, God. I think I changed the size of my screen accidentally. Ah, damn it. Okay, I, I, I've almost got this. Can you use any go up and down and keep firing? Okay. Can you like press buttons to do this? Like... Okay, can you only click? Ah. Damn it. Come on. Yeah, there we go. I got it. Got the hang of it. Sorry, buddy. Looks like I'm the new champ. Champ, your mother's ass. I saw you cheat. I'll <laughs> give you the chain anyway, because I'm such an honest guy. Yeah, sure. Well, that's nice. We have a gold chain, a mouse, and a, a mug. Toxic gamer. <laughs> I, made a, I made a similar, like, kind of comparison to uh, Toxic Gamers in my Space Quest 6 video. Because there's a guy there, that, like a similar thing here with like an arcade where you have to beat like a guy in a game parody. Hope you use this cha chain to strangle something. Perhaps, yeah. Are there deaths in this game, by the way? I'm not actually sure. I'm gonna save if I can. Uh, how do you save? Like this. I'm just gonna save it as save. <laughs> you don't die. Well, I need to make sure I'm saving anyway. Okay. Let's go on the path. <laughs> you basically kill someone in this game? Oh my god. A scarecrow! Hello. Hello? Drew? What do you think you're doing? Well, I, I thought maybe, you know... <laughs> you thought this rag-clad bundle of straw was alive, didn't you? No. Well, okay, maybe I did. It's not like I haven't seen weirder stuff. <laughs> oh, 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 Drew. Even in my world, the Scarecrow is just a... Hello? Scarecrow. You Helen. were saying... <laughs> hey, did one of you minxes call me a rag-clad bundle of straw? Or did that all happen in some beastly dream? I don't know. Dreams are the strangest things, aren't they? I had to simply divine one the other day. I was floating high above the world, the wind gently cradling and caressing me That's as nice. I gracefully swooped and pirouetted in the air. Oh, and through all of it, I was wearing this teal chiffon scarf that was to die for. Uh, okay. <sighs> Sort of it camp really stereotype character. I see. Waking up from a dream like that, can it? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, Mr. Scarecrow, what are you doing? Not as intensive as Harvester. Hanging around? Yeah. Hardly. You have to work hard to get to Harvester levels. Babies. Your babies? The crows, darling. The crows. Uh, you might want to take yeah, a look like at the job description. Yeah, it's not like too bad. It's kind of know, scarecrows general camp character. Scare crows. For your information, I am not a scarecrow. I am a carecrow. Oh, Who do you I'm... think cares for all the little birds? Okay. Florence Nightingale. Mm, yeah, sounds about right. And okay. take it from me, bullying birds is one thing, but it takes a much stronger sort to look after them. By the wear and tear from throwing seed alone. <clears throat> Just look at these hands. Are these the hands of the idol? I don't think so, sailor. <sighs> Well, I suppose it's the price I pay for not wearing rubber gloves. But have you seen the gaudy colors those things come in? Yuck. No, thank you. I'd rather my hands fell off at the sleeve than be caught wearing those fashion faux pas. I know I'm terrible, aren't I? You like to talk, don't you? Well, I have to say, you are the smartest. I did like his young birds. I mean, Carecrow. I've ever met. Yeah, he does seem, seem quite nice, though. A sweetheart, aren't you? Oh, I dig the cloak. It's Trey. Uh, good. This Trey good. Thing, 
hate it. I call it Cape Fear. It's not like I had any choice in the matter, you know? I'd give anything for a nice new outfit. Actually, I'd give this cloak. I'm afraid it's all I've got. I don't suppose you boys could find it in your hearts? Oh, but no, what am I saying? I've crossed the line. I'm asking much too much. I suppose we could help you out. Really? Would you? Am I hearing what I think I'm hearing? We're going clothes shopping for a scarecrow. He's a cacrow. You, you give us a cloak and we'll get you a nice sport coat or something. A sport coat? How positively dismal. No, this has to be the right outfit. <clears throat> I want something I can wear all day long and all year round, but it doesn't have to be out of this world. Okay. I don't want to have a hair out of place, nothing too sappy, and not too many bells and whistles. I don't want a big top and definitely no cross-dressing. Got that? Uh, sure. Okay. I know exactly the outfit you need. Yeah, so do I. A straight jacket. So some more it ice must to be break. It's lonely for a sociable guy like yourself hanging around in this empty cornfield. Yeah, I mean, face it. You could probably talk the ears off a corn stalk. Well, you fellas certainly have my number. I do like a good chin wag. Chatting with you is so much fun. Mm -hmm. I'm having a ball. Well, I'm glad. I to feel hear I it. could tell you to anything, everything, and you'd understand. Oh, good. Don't get me wrong, I love my babies. Bless their little feathered hearts. But I'm afraid gossiping with them is a bit of a one-way street, if you know what I mean. To their credit, they are good listeners. And that's very important, as we all know. I mean, don't you just want to scream when you get stuck with someone who goes on and on <laughs> and on and doesn't let you get a word in edgeways? Yes! Okay. So if we bring you a new outfit, you'll give us your cloak, right? Honey, for a new outfit, I'll give you my cloak and sing Act Two of West Side Story. Right. Thanks, but we'll just stick with the cloak. So yeah, we got, we got the nice Parker side. copyright. Uh, Parker, <laughs> what are you trying to do? Kill me with humiliation? Go to the farm? Slay me I will with dreariness? Oh, the hideous monotony! I can't breathe. Okay, no Parker. Now, what should we bring you? I told you. I want something I can wear all day long and all year round, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have to be out of this world. I don't want to have a hair out of place, nothing too sappy, and not too many bells and whistles. I don't want a big top, and definitely no cross-dressing. Well, at least he isn't picky. I guess we'll have to go to the costume shop for that. Well, we gotta be going. All right, boys, but don't forget about your friend the Carecrow. Be sure to keep me posted. As if I wasn't already. <laughs> He's a crow. Scarecrow, <laughs> he's posted. <laughs> All right, let's go to the uh, the barn then. I will regret it. Okay. Fertilizer. I'm not gonna stick my hand in there. Hello, ladies. Psst, Drew, let me handle this. I'm a whiz with foreign languages. <clears throat> no. Mama be do. Hubba hubba, ring a ding ding, kawabanga. Are you speaking to us? Okay. Do you? Oh, you must want some butter. I'm terribly sorry, but there isn't any more. None at all. Butter? No, we. Churnatron. The churnatron oh. is broken. Oh. <laughs> hey, no big deal. I know how upset you must be. Without butter, life is barely worth living. That seems a bit dramatic. Oh, Utopia mourns my pure. Can you mind there's a horse in here? Creamery butter. Okay. Unhappy day. Unhappy day. But we will soldier on, and you must as well. Courage. Okay. Say, aren't you ladies <clears throat> supposed to be on all fours? I'll see you later. Oh, okay. Oh, the nerve. Oh my god. No, 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 no. That's that's not what I meant. Really, really, it's not. It's just that. In my oh God, world, was there a sex uh, joke in that I just missed? Forget it. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm really sorry. I, I didn't mean to offend you. Well, anyone with the good manners to apologize is welcome in oh, our boy. stable. By the way, my name is. You're Drew just kind of registered in my head. Goodness me. Where are my manners? I'm Marge, and this is Polly, and this machine yeah, it's an icebreaker. is my lifelong <laughs> friend and partner, the Chernatron. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. Okay. Did you say the Chernatron was broken? Yes, I'm afraid the poor thing is on the fritz, and has been for quite some time. 
Oh, it <clears throat> seems like an eternity since my last milking. Mm. I don't mind telling you that my rosy red swollen udders are in desperate need of a good suck suck sucking from old Journey here. Please Actually, don't say it like that. Telling me that. You see, <laughs> we were a team. Together, we made the sweetest, purest butter in all of Cutopia. Without my partner in cream, all I have partner in cream. My memories. Look, I'm sure it's a real shame about Mr. Suck Suck here, but there's more to life than butter. Right, Drew? All right. Thank you for the uh, tier one description. I see patterns. Much appreciated. You could ever want and, and uh, flocks. Did we mention this lovely barn? Ooh, besides, you could have a career in the beef business. Ooh. A short one, of course. It's sweet of you to try to cheer us up. But butter is my life. Until the churnatron is fixed, things just won't be the same. Okay, so how can we fix it? So, uh, what exactly happened to the churnatron anyway? I'm afraid it may have broken down from simple overuse. I do so enjoy making butter. One minute it Concern. was fine, churning away. Then all of a sudden, a metal thingamabob flew off. Not the metal he thingamabob. Everywhere, but we couldn't find it. If only we had a way of getting that part. Without it, my life is meaningless. You know, Marge, meaning, purpose, all that stuff is overrated. Hell, just ask Flux here. His life is completely pointless, and he's loving every minute of it. <laughs> you bet your sweet bippy. As a revered Zanian philosopher once said, those who seek meaning in their lives are... What the? Ah! He was run over by a runaway ice cream truck before completing his last work. But for all us Sanians, there is profound meaning to be found in his senseless, untimely death. I know what That's you're beautiful. trying to do, and I thank you. You're good people. But I'm afraid for a domesticated bovine. Life is empty when you have a sack full of souring milk. Amen. Why do you, why do you have to phrase it like that? Oh, seems a little quiet. Elmer, yes, Elmer's special. Special? You know, it's a nice silo, but it isn't holding any grain, if you grasp my meaning. <sighs> no grain. Grain? I just figured he was a total retard or Ooh. Sorry, ladies, Flux is special. He That's suffers a from foot and bit of a disease. dated phraseology. My meaning. <laughs> huh? I caught me off guard a bit. So long, ladies. We have to move along. Don't be mean, move Flux. Move along. Get it? That's a very bad joke. Are they making fun of us? Of course not, Polly. These Flux are just did a slur. It's, you know. Comments like that make me feel like I'm about three 90s feet high. 90s game. You are about three feet high. Cool. For a second there, I thought I developed a conscience. The horse gives you yes, honey vibes. I was actually thinking the same thing. Is anybody home? Just answer yay or nay. <laughs> and we have our answer. Straight from the horse's mouth. Oh. And end of the glue. Oh my god, you're so right. I wonder if we can... Get to... Yeah. Uh-oh. I think I'll need to use something a little less leaky. Wait, so this is... Has this got, like... A leaky old tanker oh, from the tavern. That's helpful. An unconscious and slightly scruffy mouse. Hmm. A cheap chain from the arcade. Okay. I think it's broken. What's the part that got flung off then, and where can we find it? Actually, hold on. I wonder if it's a needle that's fallen into this haystack. This is useless. I don't think I'll be able to find anything just digging through a haystack. <clears throat> what about you? Lux, could you search that haystack? Sure, buddy. No luck, Drew. Just digging around isn't getting us anywhere. Hmm. What about a mouse? What do you think? No. Okay. I don't think we have anything we can do right now in this area anyway. Did we go down this path? I don't think we did, did we? Okay, there's several things that we need to kind of work on right now. We got an outfit for this guy, gotta get a part for these people. That is an angry looking squirrel. A nasty looking squirrel. Yeah. Use the cup with the thing? Hold on. 
The squirrel's doorstep. Well, let me let me explore a little bit first. I'll go back in a second. The door to the squirrel's treehouse. I don't think the squirrel will let me do that. What right about uh, Flux? Flux, go up there and ask the squirrel if you can grab his nuts. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> okay. Hi, Kristen, how you doing? Oh, I guess that didn't work. PSP commercial? Oh, yes! I know what you're talking about. Well, I did not go to plan. Oh, a pepper! I can't pick that pepper while that briar patch is in the way. Ah, damn. Can I get rid of that somehow? Apparently you can't die in this, uh, Andrew. I'm, that's what I've been told. Oh, hello. Look, Drew, it's Zany Do. That's where I live. Hi there, Jumbo. What's up? First up, Oh, wow. <laughs> Exciting. I hope everything's good, too. And? I guess the nut's not up for grabs. The hand's already full. Hmm. Can I go this way? Looks like a gear shift. I can go this way, okay. This is getting us nowhere. Well, technically speaking, we're somewhere, but I guess it's not the somewhere you had in mind. Okay, so we can't go in this area just yet. can? Well, I'm going back to, uh, the hand was empty. Oh, yeah, it looks like we, it was like a nut in one hand and a nut in the other one. Yeah. You said you wanted to, me to use this on, in here? What? Hold on. What did you ask me to do about the, uh, in the super... I already did that. It didn't work. This? It just it's too leaky. Uh oh. I think I'll need to use something a little less leaky. Yeah, I already I already tried that. Either I need to patch up this mug somehow or I need to find a different one. a way we can get this. Oh, I, I have an idea. Oh, 12 month subscription. Damn. A full year. Thank you, Kristen. Um, gonna... I don't think that's the kind of thing the squirrel is looking for. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna have a little look around what well, elephants of oh good point yeah that just that just yeah got me right there clon i what are elephants afraid of <laughs> yeet hey plasma tracker how you doing oops all right uh, uh, eh, eh, eh. a mouse won't be too scary from 20 feet away ah here we go. Okay. <laughs> I guess the old terrifying elephant with a small rodent trick doesn't work with an unconscious mouse. Oh, okay. We need to wake him up somehow. Switch the hands. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad. I guess the nut's not up for grabs. Hmm. 
I'm not seeing what you mean by that. Looks like an endearing point and click. A hand holding a stunned mouse. I assume we'll need to find some way to wake it up, but I'm not entirely sure how, how that works. I'm going to head back to the town and have a look at the costume shop. If we don't stop the fires, someday all of Kutopia will look like this. Golly. If we don't stop oh, the I fires, thought the tree might have something different. All of Kutopia will look like this. Okay. Costume shop. With that very well read lady. Sure, have fun together, don't we, Mr. Drew? <laughs> We're back. Hmm, something different about you. I know, you used to be purple. <laughs> no, uh, that's him. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes I can be such a dance. Could we like snag one of your Rentorama vouchers? Oh, sorry. No can do. Aww. Voucher, like, denied. Are you still reading that book? I'm insoluble puzzle. I was thinking maybe we could uh, ask about sure. a costume. The only time I put down a book is to, like, pick up another. Okay. Well, see you later, Miss Fit. For sure. Stay rad. Okay. Need to find it. Did I take take everything from the castle? I think there's a couple of things I missed in the castle. Actually, there's the uh, the cupboard after all, which I haven't. Uh, the cabinet, sorry. Which there's a way into here, but I'm not entirely sure how uh, how to do that just yet. There's a there's a hole, which clearly something goes in there that opens up the cabinet. I I would assume, but I'm not entirely sure what. Although that being said, hold on. There's a key on the. Sparky over here. Plaque. Future home of the Royal Botanical Gardens. I can hardly wait. Okay. Hi again, guys. Look, our friends are back. Hip hip. Hooray! Boy, it sure has been a tough day, hasn't it, Flux? Yes. Oh, we, we sure could use some cheering up. I think they drop the key lady, lady. when they do the dance thing. Our friends thing. have the frownies. Quick, the dance. Oh, the no. dance. Wait, it hasn't been that tough. <laughs> Two, three, four. Bippity, bip, bip, bippity, ba. Bip, boop, bip, boop, bippity, ba. Yeah, da, da, da. Oh, looks like the little fellows dropped something. Too bad. There we go. Oh, thanks. I'm very cheered up now. Thank you for the little dance. So, I would assume this maybe goes into here. This came out before or after Who well, Framed Roger Rabbit? Oh, in solved. Space Jam? I think it came out after. 1,110 to go. Of course, that's only an estimate. I received this as a late 90s game. I don't actually know the exact release date. Music box, huh? Can I Royal use this? music box, complete with an embossed portrait of King Hugh on the lid. Hmm. Um. Is this a puzzle in itself? We have to get all the drawers open. Nope. <laughs> it's just weird. How do I go back? Alright, there we go. <laughs> it's too small. I'd probably break it. Oop, my phone vibrated. <laughs> oh, I see. Come on, your highness! And the two in the How dare you, sir? That is the king's personal calling cord. Sorry about that. See that it doesn't happen again. No. Oh. Two middle ones open? Hold on. Remember, open up. 
Don't shut down. Go right in. Don't be left out. Oh, okay. It's like some sort of inspirational note. Yeah, so the right and left ones need to be opened up. Okay, I... Wait, what? I have the two move ones open now. I don't understand this. Shut down. Oh, okay. Hold Go on. Right in. Don't be left out. Wait, wait. Remember, open up. Open up. Don't shut down. Go right in. Don't shut down. Don't be left out. So all of them but left? It must be. I don't know. Like that? I'm trying to figure this out. Open up. Don't shut down. I don't know. I've, I have no idea. Hold on. Remember, open up. Don't shut down. Go right in. Don't be left out. I don't understand. <laughs> This is asking me to do. It's up, down, left, and right, but like. Open, left, open, rest, shut. Okay, now I've done that. <laughs> What about what about the top and bottom? I already done that one. That doesn't work. Open up, down, right, and left in that order. In that okay, maybe yeah, maybe it's got to be the right order. Oh God, I want to uh, up, down. Left, right. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back to that hey, one. Never mind, I got it right. <laughs> I, guess your sock I was, I was about to give up, but apparently I just got it. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> I like to use the classical music in this. It's great. Hmm. Are these even usable in the oh, a trapdoor? I can't reach it. Wait a minute. I know how you could get up there. In Zenidu, we'd get a large can of beans and a lighter and. Uh, uh -huh. This doesn't sound like a particularly good idea, Flux. Does that sound hey, slightly insane? It doesn't smell like a particularly good idea either, but it works. <laughs> Boom! You're up there. Well, there's a makeshift jetpack, I suppose, but I don't think that'd be a. Hmm. Oh, we're holding a floorboard. Ah. Hey, Flux, go stand on that loose floorboard for a sec, okay? Sure, buddy. Whatever you say. And bada bing, bada boom. Perfect. Flux, you did it. Wow, that was hard. The leap? The floor. Right. Now what? Nice job opening that, little buddy. Yeah, I really enjoyed using my head as a crash mat. Oh. Hey, Flux, how about I shoot you up there again, huh? Hey, Drew, how about you don't? Real cheap with this adventure. I, I'm i already enjoying it. Oh, let's move this rug. Wow, a secret trap door! Drew, you're a genius! I mean, I think you're a genius. I wish my, my video was a couple were. of years ago. Looking in for a trap Fistful door, of Frags review. Right? Well, the Fistful of Frag ones came up, came up this year. Check the bird. Oh, yeah, good idea. I can't see up there. You need, I need the end to check it, I think. Flux, I'm too big to climb that ladder. So, could you kind of 
go up there and dig around in Hugh's bed. <laughs> you want me to short cheat him? No, I want you to search <laughs> for anything that might be useful. Party pooper. <laughs> hey, here's a ah. free costume rental at Misfits Costume Shop. There we go. Shop. Lovely. Um, hold on in there. Well, now we can give that to the, the uh, Carecrow, I imagine. Oh! I did a thought. I just had a random thought. Sorry, I want to go back. Now that we've got that open... I send this foot guy... Oh, how very amusing. Aww. What a clever little prank. Yes, indeed. Like I told you, don't pull that cord again. Maybe if I put the... Uh... No, hold on. Put the rug back. Nice cover up. Here we go. Here we go. Predictable. <laughs> How inconvenient. That would do it. Oh. Ow. Well then. Ouch. It's cartoon logic, he's fine. Yeah, Fistful of Rags has been around for a long time. I only got around to doing a video on it this year. Not where to store an anvil. I think that's kind of the joke. <laughs> Or I feel committing murder. Eh, uh, well, you know, it is what it is. He was kind of a jerk. Whoops. I guess that's King Hugh's little way of saying, Don't take my trophies, you miserable thieves! Well, I, don't worry, we can just replace it with this. Perfect. That's an easy setup. Nice. I'll take Looks that like fish, this too. this is the one that got away. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Anything else I can grab while I'm here? Oh, that looks like it's it. Enjoyed seeing Pirate Doom. Oh yeah, Pirate Doom was a fun one. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. In fact, I streamed Pirate Doom a very long time ago. I think back in like 2017 or something. Maybe it's not even 2016 I streamed Pirate Doom. And I wanted to do a video on it um, back then. But like, I just haven't got around to it now. It happens a lot. King Hugh asked us to redeem his costume voucher for him. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. No can do. King Hugh forgot to authorize this. You know, by stamping it with his royal crest. Oh, of course. Wow. Sorry about that, Ms. Fit. But since we're already here, and... Uh... No way. I gotta have this stamped, guys. I mean, well, you know. otherwise someone <clears throat> could just, like, snag the king's voucher and try to pass it off as their own or something. <laughs> Not that you guys would ever do anything like that. No. No. <laughs> I mean, that would just be flat out wrong. <laughs> yeah, absolutely unthinkable. Flux well, kind of reminds you of Max sometimes. Understand? I the items are really showing as, as he handles them, yeah. A, a pothole? A perfectly round I didn't know that. Huh. I'm sure we'll be able to put something in there at some point. <clears throat> Diet Max, yeah. I, I, I would agree with that. Okay, I mean, I feel like even, like, Dan Castellan actually could do a good Max voice. Actually, after hearing this. Uh... Oh, I remember what we wanted. The Diamax. That'd be a horrifying iteration of Max. The Diamax. Uh. Oh, yuck. 
Alright, now we have some fertilizer. I don't know what we want to do with it, though. <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe it's to do with this uh, stuff over here. Can we grab the corn cup, actually? I'm sure it wouldn't hurt if I just took one. Yeah. A single corn cub. Maybe if I put this on the pepper plant, it'll do something... Think I should fertilize this pepper plant? No, it looks pretty healthy already. Okay. Maybe it's for something unhealthy, then. Yeah, perhaps the meadow. I mean, that was like hit by the cute, like the, what's it, Ma Maleva, whatever it's called, the evil ray. Ma Malev, yeah. Words not work. <laughs> that work? I don't think he even wants to do it, to be honest. <sighs> nah, it's not letting me. Okay. Malevolator. Maybe it could be used to wake up the mouse, then. I'm gonna give that a go. Ah, a raging squirrel right there. I wonder what we're gonna do with him. Sorry, little fella, but it's time to wake up and smell the fertilizer. Oh, here we go. Ah! Got it. That's the most ridiculous contraption I've ever seen. Of course it is. It's the zany do shadow. Let me in and click on that. I want it to go inside. Let me in. Oh, here we go. We're going to zany do. Hey. I love going to zany do. It's an interesting method of transport. Are we there yet? Oh god, those eyes. I don't like that. There's upper zany do, lower zany do, and then this middle one. I go the upper one first. Take the left. Gyms. Gyms, Jim. Gyms, Jim. Zany do's fitness center and designated drop zone for doggy doo doo. Oh. An advertisement for a whack me contest. Okay. Oh, hold on, the guardian. Let's talk to him first. Is he a robot? Excuse me, sir. Outhouse security. I don't think he is, actually. I'll ask gentlemen to step away from the rest facility. Oh, yeah? Or else what? Citizens in my capacity as an outhouse security professional, this flushing establishment and its surroundings <clears throat> are within my jurisdiction. In short, from where you stand, I am the law. As such, I am authorized to deal with scoundrels, gangsters, charlatans, miscreants, rapscallions, ne'er-do-wells, and all other troublemakers as I see fit. Okay, he's covered all his bases. beating you about the head with the shovel. I think we better just do whatever he says. I <laughs> swear, if it wasn't for the fact that I'm a pitiful Phone coward, in the Irish I'd pub. step back Ooh. a few feet and flip him oh. off. Big time! Let me get this straight. You're guarding this outhouse? Correct. No one is allowed inside until the clock strikes the end of my shift. Zany do penal code section 7 subparagraph 12. But what if it's a, you know, an emergency? <laughs> a fish flushing emergency? Fish flushing? Well, yeah. What else would we do in there? Yeah, Sir, of I would caution you that entering an outhouse for any reason other than to flush fish would be considered toileting with intent, for which I can and will cause you pain. And <laughs> what else would we do in there? Right, Flux? Huh. So, uh, we really can't go inside? We promise not to make a mess. You can either go inside and make a mess, nor go inside and not make a mess. Well, what about making a mess and then going inside? The zany do clock will signal the end of my shift. At that point, and not a second earlier, you and your friend will be free to fish flush. Boy! Okay. That is one dedicated security guard. I'll say. It's good no, get I the mean clock. really <clears throat> dedicated. The zany do clock is broken. It oh. hasn't chimed in years. Okay. Jeez, that's a hell of a shift. I'll bet he's pooped. Hmm, could be. Plus, he's probably tired. All right, so I guess we're gonna get that clock working now. That's that's the gets into the goal we gotta note down in our heads. Very <laughs> impressed by the fine job you're doing here. Thank you, citizen. Now please move along and. However, I, I think it's only fair to inform you that the clock you've been waiting to hear strike the end of your shift. You know, so you can go home to your loved ones, maybe get a little rest, watch a ball game. Well, it's broken. 
It hasn't chimed in years. Years! Yes. So you see, your shift was over a long, long time ago. Zany Do Penal Code Section 3, Subparagraph 17. No citizen shall knowingly deceive or otherwise mislead, defraud, hoodwink, or dupe an outhouse security professional in the course of his, her, or its duty. Hey, I have never hoodwinked. I wouldn't dream of duping. Or said security professional <laughs> shall raise a big hairless bump on the aforementioned citizen's noggin and or noggins. Uh, uh, have a nice day. Also. And or noggins. Yeah, a nice never-ending day. Look, we just want to flush some fish. Is that so wrong? I believe I've made it very clear to you two that fish flushing hours are over. Come back after the zany Duke clock has chimed out the end voice. of my shift. At that I think time, it's more of like a sort of exactly 30 minutes per sort of secret service guy voice. And after ensuring that my dwelling is tidy and secure, we'll retire for the evening. Until then, I shall guard this flushing establishment with the selfless devotion expected of an outhouse security professional. How about a bribe? What could you possibly offer me to make me break the law, and in so doing, tarnish the spotless reputation of the toilet sentry? Uh, <laughs> Drew? The satisfaction of knowing you've helped someone in need? So long, gentlemen. Nice one, buddy. Hmm, pity. I thought you were about to offer me a comfy chair. Yes, yes, we can get that. Just let us in. Attempting to bribe an outhouse security professional <laughs> is indirect. I was thinking he reminds you of Super Bowl. Section five also, hey, Sarah, I didn't 13. realize you come in. Cease and desist, or ready your hiney for the mother of all spankings. Look, we don't even know what time your shift ends. Can you just slip away and take a quick look at the clock? And see if your shift is over. I can't leave my post to look at clocks. Civil Code Section 8, Part... But if you checked the clock and it really was fish flushing time, then you wouldn't actually have left your post. Because, technically, you would have already been off duty. Mm. Am I right? Could you repeat that? Just, Just been hitting miss here a minute watch many streams. Ah, fair enough. Nice to see you, though. Zenidu Civil Code Section 5, <clears throat> subparagraph 25. In the unlikely event that the Zany Duke clock is broken, an outhouse security professional may be relieved from his duties by the commode commandant. The commandant is easily identified by his purple complexion and green glasses. <laughs> Officer, Ten Hut, I'm relieving you from your duties. Dismissed. As an outhouse <clears throat> security professional, I am exposed on a daily basis to the scum of this world, to the dregs of society, and by this I mean, of course, the general public. Of course. There isn't a scam, swindle, or sting I haven't seen, heard, or smelled, so I find your commode commandant routine painfully transparent. B.S. Any future attempt to pose as an outhouse security officer, senior, or otherwise, will result in the prompt insertion of my fist into your eye socket. Oh! Lieutenant Blank! Ten Hut! Retreat! <laughs> Okay, then. We have to go. But before we do, I want <coughs> you to know that talking to you has been like beating my head against a brick wall. Only more so. Thank you, citizen. It's been a pleasure thwarting your illicit activities. <laughs> have there been any adult things? You know, been a couple. The barn. Ugh. I get the feeling it's going to get better before it gets... Sorry, I mean, it's going to get worse before it gets better. This is an interesting uh, setup for Jim. Oh, it's the Pumpatron. Hi there, I'm Drew, and this is my friend Flux. Oh look, two scrawny stick figures have wandered accidentally into my world famous of gym course. by accident. You two are obviously looking for the dress shop down the of street. Of course, he has you that voice. Recognize <laughs> by the sign reading, yes girls, come inside now. <laughs> <Arnold. sizes." laughs> I like the, uh, <laughs> the emote you just put in 10 elements. That's good. Let me guess. You're Jim. Ooh, I am becoming flabbergasted. To my surprising, your little monkey head actually contains a tiny brain. Actually, my species parted ways with the monkeys a long time ago. Then we started to use tools, grow vegetables, and domesticate lesser mammals, such as the canines. Ha ha, while the monkey man grows vegetables, I am growing muscles. I don't think he has any idea what I was talking about. Yeah, well, that makes three of us. And so, what's so great about this, Jim, anyway? So, an art, nice cartoon, cartoon so game without an Arnold reference, of course. Was asking the pretty little lady man. My techniques have helped hundreds become stronger, less pathetic individuals. Of course, no pupil has ever come close to equaling my strength. Of course. But all of my customers are walking out that door able to kick their flabby hindquarters of weaklings like you. Weaklings? Take a certain sailor man. I put him on an all spinach diet. You oh, should wow. see him now. Actually, I think I have... Popeye reference, nice. 
What's that big machine in the corner? You are looking at the ultimate piece of bodybuilding equipment. The pump of I don't like that name. Guaranteed <laughs> to be beating even the most pathetic loser into a powerful specimen of manhood. Hey, Drew, mm. listen to that. Sounds like there's hope for you after all. Sorry, Charlie. The equipment is only for club members. Great. <laughs> well, I guess we'll go ahead and join up. Wrong again, Pee Wee Man. Membership is by invitation only. My invitation. And uh, okay. we're not invited. Bingo, puny wimp rant. What's all the gymnastics <laughs> stuff for? That is my personal equipment. I use it to demonstrate my agility and grace. If you ask me, all those bars and things look kind of dangerous. To a clumsy, bumbling monkey like you, yes. But for me, my routine is as easy as one, two. Say, Jim, could you possibly do us a small favor? What is it that you are wanting, speak stick figure man? Well, I, I was just wondering if I wanted to maybe see it as well, Flux actually. and I could see your routine. All right, I suppose I can be giving you a quick demonstration. Oh boy, I can hardly be waiting. Oh, here we go. Walking on the spot. You'd be famous. I mean, any circus would kill for a dog act like that. Ugh. Well, it's time for us to go. Hey, we must have been here several months in dog years. Do not be getting attitude, smarty slacks, or I will be having no choice but to pound you into a puddle with teeth. Oh yeah, I can't use that, can I? Stop right there, worm-like insect. Worm -like that like machine insect. is only for club members. <laughs> you are barely fit to look at it, let alone touch its shiny chrome. Okay. I assume we'll get to use that at some point, but uh, not right now. Let's explore more of this area. Oh. Oh. There. That should do it. Oh, that's Tim Curry. Who's there? It is I, your malevolence. A thousand pardons, but I have detected a new presence in Qtopia. I don't have time for more news of rabbits. I have work. This is no rabbit. <laughs> I've never sensed any creature quite like this before. I see. Is it, um, dangerous? <laughs> it seems harmless. So far. Good, good, but keep watching it. I'm not in the mood for meddlers. I need time to recharge the machine for my next strike. Yes, my liege. God, what was the budget on this game? Probably quite high, I would imagine, given like the, the stars they've got and the production value. And I, I mean, sure, like, high budget for voice actors and um, live action actors, but also the animation quality is good too. Vultures make me nervous when they hang around like that. Can I say that sign? Ow. I don't think the vulture will let me. Fair enough. Do you want any corn? Do you want this corn, buddy? Vultures only eat meat. Okay, what about fish, then? I mean, it has a trophy, though. I think he'd prefer red meat. Okay. And there's no other area I can go around here. A signpost. Yes, it is. All right. That path on the right is the way to whack me. Say what? I'm sorry. <laughs> Game is supposed to have a sequel. Damn. Yeah, it's, it's just telling a bit. Oh God. See, this music. Um. For me, it just screams like old Gmod and uh, like TF2 kind of videos. Like they use this this sort of this soundtrack so much. Like I know it's Ren and Simpy production music. 
God. It's 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 what sticks in my head. Oh, the clock. Here we go. Okay. Hmm. What'd you miss? Uh, I'm not sure. We had a cutscene with a uh, with Tim Curry in it, and then I met a vulture. Well, not not a huge amount. I don't know. What I, I'm even supposed to be pointing to here. Yeah, I'm gonna. How do I get out of this? Okay, there we go. Same as Tim Curry and Furry Bay. Okay, you haven't missed anything really then. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, what about this one? Uh. <laughs> uh. 1950s TV dinner music. Yeah, I, I figured it was probably a public domain thing. Classic uh. though. <clears throat> Yeah, we're trying to make the clock go off so we can get rid of the guard, but, uh... Okay, no problem, Toxic Cow. I'm just coming along. I'm not sure if there's anything... I think we can only mess with these levers. Um... Actually, tell you what. I'm gonna grab a quick drink. I will be right back. Like, literally, probably only like a minute. Because I'm right next to the kitchen, but, uh... Oh, just give me a moment. I see. You gotta, you gotta use it on the right, at the right moment. I'm just hearing Half Life, full life consequences in my head right now. That's a classic series. Hi there, guys. He's Warp. I'm Wood. Welcome to Whack Me. Great place you have here. Oh, whack me is just kind of a natural extension of Warp and Me's hobby, see? What hobby is that? Beating the living crap out of each other for grand. Oh, lovely. <laughs> One day we realized, hey, here we are beating the living crap out of each other. But what's in it for us? And then Warp said, you know, Wolf, wouldn't all self-respecting zanies just give their eye teeth for the opportunity to beat the living crap out of Magda each other? could get the thing the That's a good point. Us? Well, actually, Warp just kind of chuckled this weird chuckle. But I knew what he meant. And oh, so I have a cat here. Whack me was born. Abuse tools <gasps> by the experts. Exactly. We can put our names on whack me products with confidence because we've tested every item personally over and over <laughs> on each other. Hey, Rosie. All right. <laughs> Just sit my lap. Okay. You're obviously a shrewd businessman. Hey, we saw a market niche and we failed it. In Zany Dude, turn around and you step on someone who needs an anvil. It's been a while since I was in here. Anything new? <laughs> Anything new? You hear that, Warp? <laughs> Anything new? Are you kidding, mister? You turn around, we got something new every day. I thought it was... Turn around, you step on somebody who needs an anvil. Don't get smart, son. Stay the way you are. So, what is new? Our latest prototypes are in the case there. Uh, they aren't for sale just yet. <laughs> but we'd be more than happy to demonstrate them for you. 
yeah, sure. Uh, show me this. A submachine in the corner. That little beauty is the one and only free fall gift of matic Just push the button to start it, then the stop it the gift you want by pushing the button again. It's our little way of saying a big thank you to our valued paying customers. <laughs> Could you demonstrate one of those cigars? Absolutely, but be warned. This is no mere exploding cigar. This oh. is the fat man of trick stuff. Oh, God. Smoking this sucker is real bad for your health. Best of all, it's guaranteed to go off in your mouth, not in your hands. Check it out. Oh, God. Oh! Well then, that was interesting. We'd love to see a demonstration of that boxing glove. Right away, customer satisfaction is our middle name. Let me guess, turn around, you step on another satisfied customer. Correct. Now listen up. With the simple press of a button, this glove will smash the living daylights out of any unsuspecting sucker skull. The chump on the receiving end is guaranteed to see stars every time. Crush all you want, folks. This glove is built to outlast your victim's heads. Blow oh, God. After blow after beautiful blow. Observe. Sounds very violent. No quality of our genuine synthetic leather. Oh my god. Whew. Well, that was interesting. How's business? <laughs> hey, Kello. Uh, glad to hear it. Can we take a look at that flower? Friends, this is not your garden variety squirting flower. Why sprinkle your buddy with plain old water when you can douse him with an unhealthy oh, portion a, of extra strength there's acid? There's a cat down here on my lap. <laughs> Show him, Warp. She's just lying to here. Oh god. <laughs> uh, okay. That powder looks interesting. Where's the powder That's our patented shake and flake itching powder. Sure. Oh no. Lots of stuff to make you itch. But our powder has a special added in The original itchy and scratchy. <laughs> I guarantee it'll give you a lot more than a little tangle. <laughs> Ready, War? The cat, the one cat that like big the cat, kind of does. With leprosy? Oh no! Oh no! It's giving him bonitis. Oh god. This is distressing. Oh god. Oh, that was delightfully violent. Well, guys, I'm afraid we have to get going. I always hate to see our friends leave, especially when they haven't bought anything. Come again soon. Let me go with this then. Mind if I use your gift machine? I certainly do, friend. That machine is for our paying customers. I see. I am a paying customer. Don't you remember? Just the other day, when I bought all that stuff. No, but I'll tell you what, son. Just show me that whack me stuff you're talking ah. about, and I'll be happy to let you use our fine machine. Do we have anything whack me branded? A cheap chain from the arcade. A royal music box, complete with an embossed portrait of King Hugh on the lid. A royal music box, complete with an embossed portrait of King one. Hugh on the lid. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to get a, a big hammer then, don't we, to get the arcade. Okay. And the magnet. Well, yeah, but we can only get the uh, the magnet if we get if we buy something. So another pothole there. Perfectly round pothole. Hmm. 
Oh, whoa. Hello. That path on the right is the way to whack me. Okay. Say what? You entered the Yogg's Cast thing? <laughs> we, we've deduced that it is a... a um, public domain music. Weird. But also, hello! You can get one item, but keep, uh, keep using it if you're returning it. Alright, hold on. Let me have a look. For this one to light up. All right, here we go. There we go. So can I get anything from here yet? Actually, I need to use for these, don't I? What's of all the pictures? You're looking at our favorite folks in the whole oh. world, our paying customers. Every face on this wall belongs to a thoroughly satisfied client of ours. Ain't they a smile? Need to win the fun? items first. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I need to look at this anyway. anyway. Have I seen that guy somewhere? That's a security guard. Okay. Not the colors. That's right. It's a whole wall full oh. of smiley, satisfied, whack me customers. I just can't get enough of looking at them, and neither can you, I guess. Let me have a look at those colors again. So, purple, yellow, yellow, blue, green, red, orange. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't actually know if I have any post-it notes nearby or write on anything. So if anyone could just note that down. Purple, yellow, yellow, blue, green, red. Okay, yeah, we got it. Wade's got it. Thank you. What's this for, even? It's not to do with the clock, is it? No, I don't think so. Double look over here. I'm not sure there's anything we can do over here. The poster? Oh, hold on. Yeah, you're right. It colors are on the poster, aren't they? Oh, that would be like a number, wouldn't it? I think I'm starting to understand. Okay, what's this music from? I think it's public domain, turn one. So it's not necessarily from anything. Hold on, no, no, I... I think... Let's go over this way. Someone said there was a phone in here? And I'm seeing phones use colors rather than uh hmm. I wonder what number oh, oh color yeah. to dial. Oh, it goes that way. Okay. Um how do you get red? Oh, no, it doesn't go that way. Okay, this is really confusing. Okay, I understand. Um, purple. Uh, yellow. Yellow. Blue. Green. Uh, red. And then orange. Okay. However, a 
as an outhouse security professional. I am currently on duty. I shall return home at exactly 6.30 this evening. Please call back then. Thank you, and goodbye. 6.30? That's the time we need on the clock. How do I get out? Let me out. Ugh. There we go. I don't, I don't think the barn is hit its, uh, its worst stuff yet. It's just kind of a strange place at the moment. There's a, there's a cow there that uh, uh, wants to be milked. It's a, it's, a, it's a little bit suspect. Let's get it back over here. <laughs> the alien. I think you're so weird. <laughs> uh, over here. Got that clock. Burn me alive. Oh, yeah, we'll see about that. So we need to get this to half six. Hey, we got the clock to work. Oh. Oh, I just clicked one button and apparently it worked. All right. All right, jeez. Fair enough. That was easy. Now we can go into here. What is this? Think anyone would mind if I took a quick whiz? Mind? This is a sophisticated piece of sporting equipment. Is it Next, you'll be wanting to be smirch the scroll of wisdom. I mean, they say they wanted to flush fish. I mean, we have a fish. Looks like the toilet is clogged. Can't oh, no. fish flush with a clogged toilet. No way, no how. Okay. Well, I guess that's. I guess that's that. Yeah. All right, so what else do we need to work on right now? We've got to get the machine part for the churning machine in the barn. Um, look at the poster again. Oh, sorry, I didn't see that. Oh, let me go back. At least it's pretty quick. All right. Quite the acid trip, you must say. Oh, yeah, you don't even know the half of it. The poster, you say? The whack me cry. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, we can call that, can't we? If someone can remember this one as well. Um, blue, purple, red, orange, yellow, green, orange. Someone, someone nod this one down uh, so I can re <laughs> Okay, perfect. Thank you, and thank you, Talons. Click the toilet, maybe you say? Is it walking time by doing right click? Toilet paper with a message. Oh. Oh, if I get a, a mother, a, a blowfish, that's the mother of all fish flushes. I see. Huh. Well, that's interesting. The classic um, acronym, the Proigo. It sounds like some kind of like uh, medication you take. Are you feeling sleepy? Take Proigo. Keeps you up. <laughs> Where's I going again? To the phone. That's where I was going. So we can get our prize. I wonder how it'll get delivered to us. Okay. Blue. Purple. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Orange. But Broigo! Not every 
everyone, the <laughs> winner contest. It's easy to play. Just listen to each question, and then, using your touch hue phone, dial in the answer. Oh, God. Ready? Question one. What color is Jim's fur? Oh, it's, it's blue, isn't it? Question two. What color are the fishtails on top oh. of the outhouse? I don't know, yellow? I didn't pay attention to that. I guess these are things you we'll have to remember. Question three. Besides white, what color is Warp's fur? Orange? Question four. What color fish can be found on the right shoulder of a toilet sentry's uniform? Oh, God. Is it red? I think it's red. Oh, gosh. I think we dropped a few frames there for a second. Question Back now, though. Five. What color is Woof's collar? Uh, I don't know. Who's Woof? Which one's Woof? Dog? I know it's a dog. No, it's not the Arnie dog. Red? You have oh, damn it. Time, limit. time up. Five. What color is Woof's collar? Red. Okay. And our final question is, on the Zany Do sign, what color is the arrow pointing to Jim's Jim? What color is the arrow pointing to Jim's Jim? Uh... Blue? I don't know. Sorry, Damn it. you did not answer all of our questions correctly. Okay, so what are the questions? Call again soon. All right, we need to figure out. Uh, we need to figure out all this then. So this is all stuff on uh, on Zany Do. So we need to find out, find Wolf. <laughs> One I struggle with is. Oh my God. Quiet, you. No one cares about your problems. It was yellow? Might have been. Wolf's collar, fish on the right shoulder, sign pointing at Jim's gym. Yeah. There was, I am enjoying this so far, actually. What is her deal? Oh, she's sad that because uh, the world's going to hell, and also she got candy floss instead of popcorn. It's, it's a blue arrow. And then, who is Woof? Oh, is, oh, is Woof the, uh... Woof the one in, uh, whack me? Ah, Wolf's color is green. I, do I have any? I, I swear I have poster notes somewhere here. Okay, I do. Uh, uh, get out of here. All right, so Wolf's color is green, right? <laughs> do oh, Wolf color equals G. Um, the sign. Uh, Sign for the gym is was blue. Um, warp spur is orange. We knew that bit. I'm gonna write it down now. Orange. Okay. Well, actually, hold on. We need to go back in there. But probably go. Subscribe to Rafu's Witch channel. Enjoy one tint. <laughs> I was gonna check the painting, yeah, I forgot to do that. Ah, oh, damn it. Let me in. Oh, damn it. This is. This is an annoying system. <laughs> I think it's meant to be. <laughs> okay. Not show its shoulder. We'll just write down both. I think it said right. You're looking at our 
Okay, so it's yellow on yellow on the right. Oh, his would it be his right or our right? His right is red. God. Well, we'll find out. If it's a, if it's a like his right shoulder, then it would be. Yeah. Wasn't there a, a thing about the, the fish tails on top of the the, uh, the outhouse as well? So that's yellow. Fish tails is yellow. Yeah, I think I think we got this. I think we got this. Just need to. Just call up a prego again. And then we'll uh, have this sorted. Can I say, I really do like the backgrounds in this. The backgrounds are awesome. Like, it's really high quality stuff. And, like, it, it kind of feels like the midway point between, like, the art for King's Quest 7 and the art for Day of the Tentacle. Which is a really good midpoint to be in. Um, before I go, so... We're going... Uh, purple. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green, orange. Okay. Some Mini Tunes inspired stuff. Yeah. Hi, Shauna. This is a uh, Toonstruck. Welcome to Wackme. Where you play as Christopher Lloyd in the cartoon world. Contest. It's easy to play. Just listen to each question, and then, using your touch hue phone, dial in the answer. The voice reminds you Stan. Question one. What color are the floor tiles in? Wait, that's different. Oh god, we didn't get that one before. Damn it! <laughs> I guess yellow. I don't know. Question two: What color are the Rocky Mountains of the way out back? I know they're orange, aren't they? Red? I don't know. Besides white, what color is Whoop's fur? I know that one. I feel like it. You sh the red should have come through, uh, E-back. I have it on, like, a minimum of two. Not sure why it hasn't, but thank you anyway. Oh, what did he say? I think he said right. Okay. Did he say left? Oh, God. Oh. <sighs> I didn't, I didn't see that. Are they green? Oh. And our final question is, on the zany do sign, what color is the arrow pointing to whack me? I think that one was yellow. Sorry, mm. you lose. Thanks for playing. Someone should just screenshot each area. And then, uh... And then they'll be able to tell me. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna write down before I go, just so I remember it. Don't think I forget it, though. You have to walk all the way back. I'm sure there's only like a limited bank of questions they can actually give you. But it like picks randomly from them each time. Because some of the questions were the same, but some of them were different. My brain shut off for a second there. Okay. What we want to have a look at is the floor tiles 
in this place, they're blue. Work harder, you pathetic pipsqueak rant. Okay. Um, and he's got blue fur as well. So we know that. He's got like a... Okay, it's a, it's a red arrow to whack me. And then sign for the middle is uh, in a way out back. It's, that one's yellow. And those are definitely orange. Okay. I think we have to have this now, right? We we have to have this figured. <laughs> Took photos just in case. I'm sure that'll help. Okay. <laughs> okay, fluffy bun bun. We've got our own problems to deal with right now. We don't need yours. All right, it's Proprigo time. <laughs> Bell and Peter's resting on your goose opium. What an easy way to remember. Me, not everyone's a winner contest. It's easy to play. Just listen to each question and then using your touch hue phone, <laughs> dial in the answer. Okay. Ready? Question one. What color are the Rocky Mountains? We know this one. The way out back. Those are orange. That's that's one. There's five questions. Question two. What color is Jim's fur? Jim's fur is blue. Question three. What color are the fishtails on top of the outhouse? Those are yellow. Question four. What color is Wolf's collar? Wolf's collar is green. Question five. What color fish can be found on the left shoulder of the a left shoulder. uniform? The left shoulder is the yellow one. And our final question is, on the zany do sign, what color is the arrow pointing to whack me? It's red. Row it all down. Row it all down. Come on. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. Fabulous whack me prize should be arriving right now. Where is it right? Where on earth is it? Oh, there it is. Whack me jumping beans. Ah, okay. And now we can trade those in and get different things. Because we are a paying customer and whack me. Makes perfect sense. I'm enjoying this so far actually. This is uh this is neat. I'm not finding the puzzles to be, like, too out of step with anything else in the genre. It's not too moon logic key, especially considering it's like a cartoon game. Um, there we go. We're going this way, aren't we? <laughs> Alright. Let's trade these beans. Here. I believe these whack me jumping beans prove that I'm a paying customer. 
Exactly. Why, yes, they do. Help yourself to the gift o -matic. She's all yours. Okay. Perfect. Uh... Oh, okay, so it goes... No cigar this time, friend, but we do have a consolation prize. Okay, you gotta stop it. Oh, this okay. Makes you feel I understand. Better. Whoa! Try to hit me. That's, uh... There we go. That's what we wanted? We have a winner! You'll be taking home our top prize. A Wackman Mega Magnet with our patented no-slip grip. Easy on-off switch and more pull than your local elected official. Oh, lovely. Well, be able to use that to get something out of the haystack, I suppose, then. Consolation is burning some stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is, apparently. A lot of wandering. Back and forth, isn't there? Well, that's kind of like a genre staple, really. Oh, we're going back to the barn, then. I have a lot of items now. Let's see. Aha, like they always say, there's more than one way to search a haystack. What anime wife is out there that you can dress up as Halloween who wears a scarf? I, I, I have no idea. I may wear a scarf, but I'm not an expert on, <laughs> I'm not an expert on characters who is wear them. Is this what you were looking for? All right, we've got the machine fixed, I guess. You found the Churnatron's missing part. I feel like this is going to end up really cursed. Oh, I'm really scared. Thing. My goodness. I'm so excited. I've got butterflies in my stomachs. Why, I'm lactating with delight. Don't say Excuse that. Excuse me, gentlemen. Don't say that. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Oh, Butter! Oh, I don't know how to thank you. Oh, actually, I do. Take the very first two sticks. One for each of you. <laughs> I feel very uncomfortable. Right. We uh, can't wait to taste it. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, uh, oh my god. Oh. No, stop doing it! Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't like that. <laughs> Band. <laughs> now that... That is cursed. <laughs> oh boy. Well... At the very, at the very least, we can get this bread. What's up, fellas? I got you some butter. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <clears throat> Welcome, butter. Aw, thank you, friends. Now, allow me to treat you to the yummy wares of my day young bakery. Tenwin, no. Joy, <laughs> joy. Yeah, happy. Ah. There you go. One freshly prepared lump of raw dough. Yeah. Yeah. Yummy. Ah. It felt wonderful making dough again. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm so happy. Me too. Completely, perfectly happy. Fabulously, amazingly, wonderfully happy. <laughs> if only Ray were here to celebrate <coughs> with us. <laughs> Aww. Boy, that didn't last long. <laughs> Well, we now have dough. I don't know what we need dough for, but we have it. So, I guess that's... Yeah. <laughs> um, what else can we do? We can get that hammer, can't we? So, let's go Let's go do that now. 
Don't hit that clip. <laughs> Don't actually delay it, of course. <laughs> I'm still going to get these nuts at some point, I assume. All right. It's a neutral. Oh, go forward. Can I go into the back room? I haven't actually tried yet. I should probably give, the <laughs> give that a go. Um... <clears throat> I'm waiting for this one to light up, because... There we go. Before I get the prize, hit the gym. Hit the gym? Why did you say that? Oh, I'll, have a, I'll have a look over then. To get buff? Okay. I'll have a look. At Jim's gym. Faster slug. Okay. No, no, not like that. What uh, are you pathetic pipsqueak run? It wasn't made for kids, honest. Put it to the stand. Oh, that's a great idea, yeah. Almost everything is better with butter. That's butter. <laughs> Jim, my whole buddy. Do not be mistaking me. I am not some kind of aging friend of yours in any way. <laughs> oh. I don't know why I laugh. Oh. Boy, that routine of yours sure looked dangerous. I mean, if it were me, I'd be afraid I'd break my neck. But then you don't have one, so I guess you don't have to worry. There is no danger to me. I am keeping my equipment in perfect condition, much like my body. In, in that case, if it's no trouble, I sure would like to see your routine again. All right, I will be performing for you to be showing you what you can never hope to achieve. That's not that. Oh, boy. Oh no. I hold up a sign that says 10. Come again when you can't stay longer! Well, now we can use the Pumpatron. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go. Let's get buff. Do you have any aspirin? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was cute. I guess now that we've uh, we've trained. Meanwhile. Oh no. Oh no. He's made he's made the barn evil. I don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> um, well, first let's go get the uh, that hammer. Don't go back. I have to know. I have to know what happened. But first, let's go in here. Get the hammer. Okay. Oh, there we go. You, my friend, are the lucky winner of a whack me ulti mallet. Pound for pound, the best quality bludgeoning device in existence today. Nice. I'll take it. And we'll take that back to the uh, arcade to do the hammer game. What else do we still have to do after this? 
We have to get a stamp on the um, on the costume ticket, actually. That's something we need to do. I'm not sure how we do that. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Here we go. I feel a lot of fear. No! Marge! Holly? Mistress Marge! And Punisher Polly! Divas of Destruction! Why? Oh, ladies? Ladies? Well, not technically speaking, Under the of horse. Course. Wait, what? Give it to me! The fires hit the barn, didn't he? I guess a half dozen times. And I've never felt better. Harder! Harder! Tenderize this side of beef! Bad cow! Bad cow! Oh, God. Take that! Flux, we can't just stand here. Wait a second. Absolutely right. Flux whipping boy wildly, the reporting for duty. Oh, no. Say, where's Elmer? No! Yeah. It's not like him to... Uh, oh, no. Move. Elmer, that's a sticky question. They turned him into glue! Sticky. I haven't seen Elmer for quite oh, a while. No. But he's certainly around here somewhere. <laughs> you get the feeling they're not telling us something? Oh, that's no. Okay. Oh, no. If it's what I think it is, we didn't want to know anyway. <laughs> I... You guys are... Harder! My hide's getting numb! This just isn't healthy. Yeah, I know. A cow wearing leather. It's just not right. <laughs> I'm begging your forgiveness, mistress, but I can't whip any harder. And you something else, you worthless insect! But I've already tried everything in the barn! You got anything we can use? Pliers? Staple gun? Flamethrower? I think I might have some toenail clippers. Forget it. Mince my meat! <sighs> Give it to me! Mince my meat! <laughs> Why? More, you sack of mutton! Why? <laughs> What's wrong with your tuna truck? Call me crazy, but I, I swear it's making glue. Of course it is. Can't you read? It's a glueatron. With it, I'm making the finest glue in the world. The quickest drying, the strongest smelling. I know you want it, but you can't have any. That ridiculous uh... whip. There's got to be something better. Well, well see you later. It's been disturbing. Yes. Careful with that whip. You could hurt somebody. <laughs> Um, well, you know what? I don't know if I have anything to... Okay, yeah, we can't grab that. Blue is something you earn, slug. Mallet? We, we need the mallet for something else. Oh, I suppose we couldn't have to give it a shot, though. Pathetic worm! We've tried that before! I'm numb to that kind of abuse. I need a new, unbearably delectable form of torture. More, okay. you sack of mutton! What about this? Pathetic worm! We've tried that before! Okay. I'm numb to that kind of abuse. I need a new, unbearably delectable form of torture. Whip what about my this? cream! Oh. Who needs fertilizer? I'd rather have this stuff. This More. Is... Oh, God. <laughs> what about this? Pathetic worm! You tried you poison? I can get that the pepper. Oh, maybe, I yeah. Need a new, unbearably delectable form of torture. All right, hold on. More, you sack of Let's leave this area. It's horrifying. A place of so much regret. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, that's a good word for it. Mm-hmm. Get rid of the Briar Patch, I guess. 
Hey. Oopsie. I seem to have spillweed kill on this nice briar patch. Unlucky. Drew Black, the notorious vegetable pillager of Cutopia, strikes again. <coughs> I think you'll find that peppers are actually classified as fruit food. <laughs> eh, whatever. All right. I don't think that's the kind of thing nope. the squirrel is looking for. I'm going to put it in my in my bottomless bag. A red pepper. Okay. Maybe that'll be the kind of torture they're after. Who knows? Actually, yeah, the character might have something to say about the whole situation. We're back. Well, if it isn't the dynamic duo. Nice to see you boys again. Oh, yeah. The barn is a disaster. Yeah. Let me guess. Nefarious. Who else? He zapped everything in sight with that hideous ray of his. A zap zap here, and a zap zap there. Here a zap, there a zap. Everywhere a zap zap. <coughs> you must have been worried that Nefarious would hit you. I was. I'm glad I was able to outrun him. Yeah. I like a good pepper. Good thing you outrun, outrun him? him? Just a little joke. So I gather you don't get to the palace much. You gather right, honey. But I do have an occasional chatsy with King Hugh. That poor, poor man. I really feel for the guy. It must be rough having your kingdom come under attack. Oh, you big silly. That's the least of his troubles. I mean, just look at his ensemble. Huh? Those baggy royal robes. Ugh, I just cringe. I mean, you'd think a monarch could afford a tailor. Damn. Now, if I were king, having impeccable dress sense would be mandatory for all my subjects. I'm actually that's enforceable. To say, I'd lead by example. And believe you me, I'd get tough on those who continue to show poor taste in their wardrobes. Okay. I'd rule <clears throat> with a moisturized fist a moisturized in a cherry fist. velvet glove. Oh, <laughs> what a darling little world that would be, don't you think? Sure, a fashion dictatorship headed up by a strong Fashion dictatorship. Oh well. my god. Fashion dictatorship ruled by a straw man. Oh my god. <laughs> well, we gotta be going. All right, boys, but don't forget about your friend the Carecrow. Be sure to keep me posted, as if I wasn't already. Oh god, the puns, man, the puns. Oh, was there anything here that we needed to do, actually? Actually, we were, we were going to do... I meant to go to the uh, barn. Ah, well. I'll, I'll see if there's anything else here I need to do first. We need to get that thing stamped after all, so let's see if we can anything do... Anything we can do in the... Uh, Oh, the hammer. That's what we wanted to do. Yes, the hammering. Hmm. Is there a stamp thing? <laughs> Another in breakthrough. No. Oh, well, uh, start again. Actually, did we go back here? Oh, this is Wait where we put the, the stuff. So the new parts go in those compartments around the cutifier's deck? Yes, that's right. When oh. you've installed all the components, you simply press that big red button to run the machine. If there are any problems, the computer will let us know. Are there anything... Okay. So rock, salt... Uh, bowl, ball, bolts, and needles. So you've got sugar instead of spice. What else can we... It's so the opposite, but what is the opposite... What's the opposite of a dagger? You know. Or puns. Yeah, I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna head back. <clears throat> Cloak dagger. Oh, that's a yeah, that's a good point. Maybe the cloak we get from the uh, the scarecrow will be what we need there. Good at good point. Bow. I guess the opposite would be arrow. And I think I know where we can get an arrow. I have an idea. Pepper. Yeah, salt pepper. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, like pet, pet. It's funny. Mind if I take a whack at that strength -ometer? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Here's your lucky mallet. No, thanks. I brought my own. Hey, 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 nobody said nothing about bringing your own freaking mallet. Besides, that clunky thing isn't gonna get you anywhere. Like my old pop used to say to me, fingers, you stupid, good-for-nothing little creep. <laughs> Always use the right tool for the job. And by the way, you smell like crap. Wise guy, my pop. I'll bet. Now I suggest. I think I'm figuring out actually what. what I, I, I think the the one for ball might be chain, ball and chain. Before you hurt your poor little back. Oh, so sugar and spice, yours, ball and chain, salt and pepper, cloak and dagger. I think I'm getting the idea of what those need to be. Congratulations! <laughs> you don't think I'm impressed. You know what they say about guys who need big mallets. Okay, squid boy, where's our shit? He's making a dick joke. <laughs> yeah, 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 here. Ain't you freaking one? Hey, this isn't Shapley. This says it's Captain Blowhard's Prue Wine. Yeah. yeah, and I hope you both joke on it. Okay, well, we got some wine at least. Prune wine. I have no idea how good that would be. <laughs> Grab the plates. Oh, yeah, good point. Should we check that? Oh, the bells. Bells and whistles. I I'm getting the hang of this now. I actually really like wordplay puzzles. I talk about that a bit in, in uh, my Monkey Island videos. I think sometimes you can go a bit too far with them, but I generally think wordplay puzzles are very fun in games like this. Uh, so, sugar and spice, pepper. These are peppers, so salt and pepper. Yes. Um, rock and... I tell you what. We probably have to get the door made into a bread roll, so it's rock and roll. I love this kind of thing. <laughs> uh, bell and where's whistle? Whistle is this one here. And then ball and chain. That's uh, this one. Ball will definitely be arrow. Um, anything else we can do right now? Corn? Hmm. The other ones I'm a bit... Nuts and bolts. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Alright. So, we're probably gonna say... Rock and roll, bow and arrow, uh, nuts and bolts, pins and needles... Um... I'm not sure. I think it needs to be wordplay person. So something polish stars and stripes. That's a good good shout, yeah. Heart. Something in heart. Heart and something. Spit and polish. You might be right there, yeah. Spit and polish. Um So I'm gonna, I'm gonna write these down that we don't have ones we don't have. So Rock and roll, uh, bow and arrow. So we need a, a red roll, an arrow, uh, some nuts, and some bolts, heart and soul. Ooh, yes, yes. Um, spit and polish. Uh, heart and 
so... Stars and Stripes, Cloak and Dagger. I love this. This is great. This is such a neat, like, puzzle. Maybe a soul. Yeah, maybe you're right, you're right. It might be like a shoe thing. Don't forget your things. Oh, okay. You can't, you can't put them in until you've got all of them. Maybe a fish. Oh, you might be right. What is that? A herring. It's a red herring, guys. <laughs> Monkey Island is a nut joke, but you know what? I'll allow it. <laughs> it's a pointless item. Um, hmm. It's not pointless? Oh, okay. You can get something with the red herring. Oh, I see. Something I, I'm wondering about is the... I, I know... I have an idea where we may be able to get an arrow. I need to figure out, actually, is there anything we can do to figure out this one? I wonder. Would you like some plum wine, sir? I don't sir? think that's the kind of thing the squirrel is looking for. Hmm. Thanks, but no thanks. There's a third path? Oh! I didn't, I assume that wasn't a thing, actually. I had no idea about this. Oh, okay. Oh, hello! <coughs> you doing, gents? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Lovely day for a stroller, ain't it? BB Wolf at your service. Hi. BB, short for Big Bad. Catchy. And practical. Big Bad is a real mouthful. <laughs> Another crack like that, my friend. And you'll be the mouthful. With whom do I have the treasure speaking? I'm Drew Blank, and he's Fox Wildly. Please do eat. Meet you. <laughs> uh, that's nice. Anyway, we'd better be going. Stick around a memento, fellas. I got a little flavor to ask you. See, a little I'm flavor. Some friends for dinner this evening, and I was hoping you might bring me a bottle oh. of tasteful vino to accompany my rap host. Without my evening glass of wine. I get a little testies. I'm sorry, what? Snatch my drift. I'm sorry, what? Hey, you get a I what? feel a little testies myself when the mood. I'm sorry. Me. Consider your drift firmly snatched, Mr. Wolf. Please. Don't do that. <laughs> I persist. All right, BB. I'll be sure to keep an eye out for some wine. Uh, pardon me, friends, but I do believe there's been a small incommunicado. See, I'm not asking you to keep an eye out. I'm telling you to bring me some stinking wine if you want to get through these woods alive. Okay. Good. Now I want to wish you and your friend good luck in your missionary. <laughs> That's the real tonight. big of you, BB. Of course. Everything about me is big. That's funny. I was just thinking, what big eyes you've got. All the better for seeing how you ain't got my wine yet. <laughs> get going. <laughs> <laughs> I love the animation of this guy. Alright, here you go, buddy. What do you think of this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Mistakes were made. <gasps> well, this is a predicament. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll have a 
us out of here. Okay, Jeffy. Uh, baby, there's been a silly mistake. We seem to have fallen into your soup. <laughs> you lost me. What was the mistake? The timing puzzle. Oh, oh God. Uh, I mean, Flux and I clearly don't belong in this cook pot. We're, you know, still alive. Drew, don't give him any ideas. Mm -hmm. Listen, BB. You know, it sort of breaks prototype to be on a first name basis with dinner. Let's go back to the Mr. Wolf thing. It's probably worth dropping a save. Listen, yeah. Mr. Wolf, it's getting really, really warm in here. Yeah, it should be. A... It's the idea. Oh. If you eat us, King Hugh is going to be very unhappy. That Joker wouldn't be unhappy if he saw his mother get flatulent by a bus. That's Besides, not the word. He's got <laughs> no authorship in these words. Out here, I am king. And you are dinner. Okay, I think it's time to move on to plan B. What was plan B again? Coming up with plan C. I was afraid of that. Okay. Uh, pot. <laughs> And um, I actually think um, I'm going to wrap things up there. Um, sorry if you haven't been in the stream for very long, but I've been going for about three hours now. And uh, that's usually about what I stream. So yeah, cliffhanger. Cliffhanger and a <laughs> cliffhanger ending for the stream. Um, I'll be continuing this next week. Um, so do stay tuned for that. Uh, it'll either be... Thursday, or I'm I'm thinking of maybe starting to introduce Tuesdays as well for adventure games. We'll see how that goes, but that's kind of what I'm hoping for because it'll help me get through them a bit quicker if I do two per week instead of just one per week. But either way, you guys have been great. This has been a great stream. Um, I'm gonna open up Twitch now and see if there's anybody who is worth raiding. But first, I want to say this: tomorrow I am streaming. Um, Unfortunate Spacemen on my Discord, which is a multiplayer deception game, a bit like uh, Among Us, but instead you've got guns, and there's an alien, um, and it's more sort of proximity speaking, it's, it's a little bit different, it's, it's, and it's part of, yeah, me and Weird's pizza party, so both me and Weird will be streaming it, so make sure you are joined up to my Discord if you want in on that. It's a free game, so you can download it, make sure you play the tutorial and everything, and you familiar with it and we'll be able to play that tomorrow at 6 30 bst in the evening so it's an hour earlier than my usual stream but yes that's that's what's going on tomorrow um and but yes what's it what's it called unfortunate spacemen i'll uh let me just mic chat in game and assembling on discord yes um all right i'm gonna set a raid going who who are we going to raid um, looks like bring pizza. Yes, we'll bring pizza. I'm going to raid. Uh, oh, tell you what, Juliet's doing some fall guys. I'm going to raid uh, Juliet, who is uh, a good friend of mine, and she's very funny, and she does a lot of streams at the moment. So please give her some support. And um, the the. Um, the red phrase is going to be BUTTER in all caps. BUTTER. Alright. I will see you guys tomorrow for another stream. I'll see you guys next week for more Toonstruck. Um, I'm very excited for this. And let's get this raid going. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>